leave your uh, stream here. Yeah, stop watching just just so I don't kill my friends. I left nothing. <laughs> Sorry. I must have clicked off by accident when I started talking to everybody in the stream. <laughs> All right, there's enough nerds in there. I can go live for a second. I'm going to put you on mute and then uh, say hi to everyone real quick. What's going on? I'm trying to I'm trying to do click at all the buttons and it's not working. Dingle's got me so confused. I'm gonna do my best. It's not gonna be pretty. I'm just letting you know now it's gonna be quite horrible. Diablo, thanks for the resub. Wait a second, Scarlet, you resub too? Aw, oh, Scarlet, thanks. You're so special. Diablo, 16 months in a row. Bro. Mr. Morg meme, I do not have plastic hair, and you know it. MLA. Flip. Liam. Scarlet's here for one of my streams. I'm so excited. MLA, thanks for joining. So today what we're doing, just so in case anyone hasn't caught this yet, we are... Dingle and I, Dingleberry McGee, if you don't follow Dingle, um, Morg, if you can throw a, a, something for Dingle out there, go ahead. I don't know if it works on my stream or not, but 
You canceled your stream for me, Scarlett? Aw, you're so awesome. So Dingle and I are going to do a EFT training day. Uh, A.K.A. Watch Risk Get Murdered 17,000 Times and Look Like a Fool Trying to Click on Heads. It's going to be fantastic. Um, we're going to do a, a training stream <coughs> whereby he is going to teach me to do all the things. Because apparently Dingleberry McGee is a phenomenal human being um, at EFT. Mo, beautiful person. Thank you for joining the stream today. Um, so do your best not to laugh too much as I die horribly and repeatedly. Um, we'll do our best in between scenes to continue to learn how EFT in the ins and outs of it learn, uh, work. I'd love to get to level 10 today, if possible, to open more of the game up so that when we play again in the future, I'm literally starting from scratch. You look at all the stats, they all say zero. So it's pretty sketch. I'm just letting you know now. Um, the other thing uh, with this as well, when we can, I'm actually going to try and integrate a bit of a, an interview with Dingleberry um, uh, to figure, so you guys can know who he is. And, you know, I'm sure he talks about it on stream. For those of you who don't know about him, though, um, we're going to talk a little bit on stream as well. So um, just an FYI. So let's let's pull up. EFT here. There it is. There it is. <coughs> Pardon me. So we were going through the the settings. Let me let me bring Dingle into the conversation here because he's a you know he's a good guy. Let's bring Dingle back. And look at all my horrible things on my screen there. Dingle, can you hear me, bro? Yeah, I can hear you. Good. Awesome. Do you know how to uh, set a hotkey? You have like a hotkey to um. To like talk over your mute and stuff. I don't. Teach okay. Me ways. It's real. It's really easy to set up. Just go to your uh, Discord okay. settings. Everything's okay. great. Everything is awesome. Discord settings. And keybinds. Keybinds. And add a keybind. Add a keybind. And then make it toggle mute. It's uh, under the action. Like, uh, change the action to toggle mute. Toggle mute. And what keybind do we want? Uh, I, I don't know. I use tilde. It's up to you, though. Tilde is going to be your default uh, console for this game. Is there a save for this? Um, I think so. Look. Um, no, after you make one, you should be good. I don't think you have to save. Okay. Who so, I have to... Crash is... Uh, you saying Dingle is loud on my end? So you could just right-click my name, and you can turn me down the Discord. Oh, I'll turn you down. <laughs> but yeah, I have to keep my Discord up on my uh, second monitor, so that whenever I know like I'm muted or not, because it'll have like at the bottom left of your Discord, it'll tell you if you're muted. Gotcha. So I'm gonna try and mute you on and off. Yep. Blah, 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 there you blah. go. Is it working? Yep. Yeah, you're you're muted and I'm fantastic. When it mutes, it like does something to my. It enters. When I mute, it enters. Wants to enter a command on EFT though, so I gotta. Yeah, you have to change that. I have to change that sucker. I changed mine to like left bracket or something. I don't really <laughs> use my console much. Console. Here it is. Here, press any key. Left bracket. Done. There. There, now it works. Fantastic. We're in business. Wait, Crashing Adam is here? Yes, Crashing Adam is here. That's awesome. Thank you, uh, everyone, for being here, by the way. You guys are here. Earth Jam Sacks is here. Woo! Life is complete. All right. Dingle, Thanks, talk dude. to me. Yep. <laughs> um... Oh I'm Dingle. God. I'm talking to you. What a great day. <laughs> so, Dingle, um, for those in my audience that don't know you yet, um, you're you're a streamer on on Twitch. I stream on Twitch. When do you usually stream? Um, Mondays through Wednesdays, starting about 11 a.m. Eastern until usually about three to four Eastern, and then 
the rest of the weeks or the rest of the days of the week um it's kind of sporadic but usually around 7 p.m eastern yeah to uh, okay. about 10 or 11. nice um really quickly you've heard of a, another streamer um called scarlet heathers before yep i play with scarlet all the time but yeah. uh, we usually play weekly play you know PUBG. you know so that's awesome you 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 stream with her regularly which is which is really cool <clears throat> um so uh, Scarlet Heathers, a really nice person, by the way, just donated um, 500 bits to my stream. Um, ah, hi, Scarlet. Which is pretty awesome. And Who donated the, 500 bits? Yeah, and, and apparently for the 500 bits, she uh, says, well, she's asking the question, how much to get the shirt off? So. Oh. <laughs> well, well, if it's me asking, free. <laughs> So Scarlet, the answer to your question is it Dingle says it's free to get his shirt off. So just go on over to his stream and <laughs> say Dingle, take your shirt off. Oh no no no. Oh, I thought she was talking about your shirt. <laughs> nope. She didn't say to get my shirt off. She said how much to get the shirt off. So um yeah, the answer is free, Dingle said. And uh just head on over and uh Flip says he wants nipple pasties though. But um <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> so welcome everyone to the stream anyways. Dingle, um, how long have you been streaming, brother? Uh, Just about a year. Well, over, uh, right over a year. I had my one year not too long ago. Wow, that's crazy. What got you into yeah, streaming? Yeah, that's crazy. What got you into streaming? Um, I don't know. I just, just thought I'd do it. Just thought I'd do it. Just thought I'd do it. A couple it. people just, I watched and... Just regular old dudes, and I was like, "Hey, I'm a regular dude." I'm a regular dude. Stream. Yeah. <laughs> Dingle's a regular dude. You hear that, everybody? Well, that's good to know that you're a regular dude, there, Dingle. All right. So, what's the uh, plan of action here for today, Dingle? What are we doing here? We're gonna play some EFT for sure. Dingle muted me. No, I didn't mute you. I was muting myself. <laughs> We're gonna play some EFT. What what's the what's the course of action? What what map are we gonna play and all that kind of jazz? Um we're gonna run a little bit of short line. Get some money so that risk isn't dirt poor. And um yeah, help you learn the game. Nice. I'm glad Scarlet paid you to not take your shirt off, by the way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of torso on you, brother. You've, you're, a big, you're a big man. Uh, yeah. Um, a, lot so, of, a lot of small boy, tall boy. So now I'm, I'm acutely aware that some maps require, like, keys or something to get into. How does that work? Yeah, so um, labs, you have to have a key card to even enter the map, which costs, like, it's 150K first time through traders, and then after that it's, like, 200, 250K just to enter the map. Okay. Um, and where it's labs, there's a lot of cheaters. So you enter the map, you pay that money, and then you die to a cheater. That sucks. Um, so maps like Shoreline and stuff, they're going to have no – it, 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 it's free to go in. No problem. They have a lot of on. locked rooms and stuff. And, um, yeah, you have keys so that you can unlock those rooms to get better loot. Gotcha. So it should be, should be a fairly straightforward runs. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Pretty, uh, uh, pretty straightforward. We're just nice. going to run around. So one quick final question. Um, who, who's your favorite mod and does it begin with morgue and end with, Oh, me? Oh, we, we, no, we can't go there. We can't <laughs> go there. I love, I love all my mods. Equal. <laughs> so no favorite mods. Let, we'll get that off. Uh, no I mean, favorite mods. No. I, I mean, I have a few different mods, but I'm not going to lie. I might have a favorite. Um, I mean, I mean the one that I, yeah, it's like children. Even if you have a favorite, you don't tell them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do. I tell my kids, I mean, they know, they know oh. the ranking in my household. They know who gets away with murder and, and who doesn't. So oh, that's funny. The others must scrub my, my feet. No, I'm just kidding. Um, um, yeah, I mean the the only the popular ones, the good ones on my stream, they actually get their own emotes on my stream. So yeah, yeah it's, makes sense. It's the way it works, you know. So okay, so what's the plan of action? Do we do we just click on Escape from Tarkov? Do we got to go into character yep. first? What's click, the... click on Escape from Tarkov. Oh, I'm so um, is your scab up? I have a scav and a PMC here. Does it have a timer on the scav? Or does uh, it just say, nope. can you just click on it? I can okay, we'll do a scav run first then. All so right. a scav run is, um, it's like a normal PMC run, except okay. you spawn in, 
and it spawns you in with a random loadout. You you can kind of get like a preview of the loadout before you click in. Yeah, it looks like a decent um, loadout gun. Looks like it's a pistol. Yeah, like caliber. I have a Mosin. Yeah, I have a Mosin right now. But like, it, it, you could spawn with random items in your pocket, random items in your backpack. Yeah. So you can spawn in sometimes with some pretty good stuff. Okay, that I, um, admit, you spawn I in, did not know it was that way. Yeah, so it's free loot. Um, you just have to extract with it. So here's the thing. Um, with the PMC run, every single time you load into a PMC run, you load in at the very beginning of the raid with all the That's other right, PMCs. Well, there is only one. And then as a scav, you spawn in at some random point during someone else's raid. So like okay. you can get player scavs in your PMC run, but they're not going to spawn in like as soon as you do. They may spawn in like later into the raid. So is there an infinite number though? Can only like 10 spawn in? throughout your whole it depends run. it varies per map it, it varies per map but yes there's a limit there's a limit to uh how many can spawn in i think so, like on shoreline probably i don't think they give you an exact number but probably like five player scavs okay plus five other players potentially or uh, shoreline you can have nine to 12 pmcs so you could have up to 17 actual other players plus yes plus the the non-player they are scavs yep so uh, just click on scav, right. and then you're going to click on shoreline, and it's military time. Uh, usually when you're playing with people, Next. you go daytime. It's just like unspoken that you're going daytime unless you mention, so like, hey, we're going to do a night run. So, so how 847, do I, yes, sir. So how do I get in so, with you, though? Um, I'm actually going to need to add you really quick. I forgot to do that. Um, yeah, what's your I name? Because I kind of need to play with you. What's your name in game? Uh, Risk Immersed, I assume. I make bold assumptions here. No, level one. Okay, so I sent you a friend request. You'll have to go back to the menu to accept it. Where do I accept? accept? Um, go to Messenger. Messenger. And then Friends up in the top right. And then you should see Pending Requests. Friends. And now I'm a uh, Gaming Gamer TTV. Nope. I have neither. No Friends and no Pending Requests. This is where you I... You don't weep. have a Pending Request? This is where I weep, everybody. Okay, so just uh, go under friends. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me see where, where you can send me one. Enter. Because it's play. probably just not refreshed. Okay, so yeah, just go to friends, and then up at the top, you can enter a player nickname. And just type in gaming gamer TTV. Just one long thing, gaming no spaces or anything. Gamer TTV. Yep, and then Thanks, hit send. Dude. Should be like a level 44 or something. Oh my god. What a great day. Oh, there we go. MLA, thank you for the 100 bits. All right, let's go. So we're going Escape from Tarkov, Scav, Shoreline 8. And then once you get into the thing where you're going to see your player in the lobby, just sit there and wait. And you could also be like, hey, Dingle, I'm in the lobby. And I could just refresh. So how do I know you're in my game? Just the fact that I've clicked you as a friend now? Uh, you've added me as a friend, so once you're in the lobby, I'm going to invite you. So click Shoreline, mm -hmm. date, and then ready. Um, no, don't click ready yet. Don't click ready yet. Didn't click ready. I totally didn't click ready, Dingle. Okay, you're going to have to hit back then. I totally click ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would think that, you know. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> I just thought it was the thing to do. This is going to be painful, people. Escape from Tarkov, Scav, Next, Shoreline, Morning, and now Next? Uh, yep. Next. And then, yep, there you are. And then I invited you. Yes. And then we're in here now. Well, look at you with your fancy clothes. Yep, you have a, um, ah, forget what that's called, a PPSH. PPS that's what you have. Of course I got a PPSH. That's what all the badasses use, PPSH. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Get on my level, people. Look at that thing. Yep. So the PPSH, right? PPSH right here. It's, it shoots pretty bad ammo, or it's going to spawn with pretty bad ammo in it. What are you talking about? Um, it goes bang. If somebody it? is geared like and wearing like a really, really good armored vest, like they will eat Shh, an entire mag of that. They will eat an entire mag of that? Yep. Ooh. Um, and hits. if they're not wearing armor, you're going to kill them pretty quickly. Or if they're wearing, like, pretty trash tier armor, you're going to kill them pretty quickly. I always just aim for the face, though. <laughs> just aim for the face. Yep. Easy. <sighs> <That doesn't, laughs> MLA says that doesn't seem healthy. <laughs> I 
think it might cause acne. Okay, I'm like legit nervous, Dingle. I'm gonna stick no, to be. you like those little hitchhikers when you when you walk through the field. Those things that click to your pant, cling to your pant leg. You know, that's mm -hmm. gonna be me as we walk around. You know what I wish Tarkov would implement? Have you ever seen like those parents who like make their kids wear like those monkey Veggie backpacks ammo. that have a leash on them? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That if Tarkov implemented <laughs> that. Dude, that would be awesome. They, they have like harnesses. I can, I can just the put, harnesses put that on you, like... Riss. <laughs> oh yeah, Risk, you have this game installed on an SSD, right? Uh, yeah. Why? Okay. Um, it's pretty uh pretty necessary. Okay, I gotta go through my controls. So C is crouch. How do I how do I get on my belly? Dingle? I don't know what default is. I use mouse buttons to prone. Probably Z if I'd guess. I'm pushing Z and nothing is happening. Oh, here we go. I greet you with my knife. Okay, so that's back to that. Okay, so where are we going, Dingle? I would just click heads from here on out. So is there like, how um, do I... Go here. There's a uh, grenade is... case up here. Shift so you have two different kinds of um, like bleeds in this game. This is one of the important things you need to learn quickly. So you have two different kinds of uh, bleeds in this game. You have what's called a light bleed, and then you have what's called a heavy bleed. Uh, um, a light bleed is going to look like a red like star at the top left next to your player. And a heavy bleed is going to look like, like a big oozing wound. You need different kinds of bandages to stop the bleeds. Um, okay, I'm sure I so, have all the things. How do I check my oh, inventory? Uh, tab. Okay, so I actually have a med kit. It looks like, oh, I got four mags for this sucker. What kind of a med kit do you have? Uh, it's that orange square thing. Ah, perfect. Okay, a grizzly. Yeah, so that's uh that's a grenade case. So you'll loot that. That in my pocket's a forty millimeter grenade. Yeah, just take anything that's in those grenade cases always. I did. Um so yeah, barbed wire hurts obviously. Yeah, I just tested it. It's awesome. Yeah. It's kinda like spices, you know, you put jalapeno, leaves that little stinging yeah. sensation. That's great. So what I like to do on my scav runs on this map, um, you, when you spawn in as a scav on this map, where like we talked about all the players kind of usually rush, um, kind of rush that one area, mm -hmm. um, they probably all extracted by now. So we're going to hit, it's what's called stashes. It's like a ground cache. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I they know can spawn like little buckets with, in the ground type of thing. Yep. Yeah, and they can spawn with uh, random items. So I, like, uh, one thing you're gonna have to remember throughout this is I don't have the stamina yeah, you do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So you're gonna hear my if guy I, huff and puff a lot. On my scab stamina is like a lot lower than my PMC, but on our PMC runs, if I start running off, just be like, hey, Dingle, don't run off. There's a ground. Where? Oh, I see it. Look at that. There's a thing there. Yep. Are you clicking or am I clicking? You, you're looting it. Middle mouse wheel to examine. There's nothing yep, in it. Yeah, you have to click it down. Oh, there's nothing. And I have uh, just been alerted that you have the cheese that you don't have a grizzly. Do you have a bandage? I have the cheese. Yeah, so that's cheese. Um, a grizzly is like, it's like a two by two space. Yeah, this is a one um, by That's one. called an AI2. Yes, it's, uh, correct. Yeah, it's pretty trash. Um, so here, it'll heal HP, but it won't stop bleeding. So hearing? take this. And you can also hotkey things by um, like hovering over top of it and pressing like a number down on your keyboard. So like, I have my my uh, bundle gotcha. like four, five, and six. Gotcha. So that way, like if you get shot at and you have a um, a bleed, you don't have to like you know stop what you're doing and like tab your inventory open and click on and then click use. Gotcha. You can just yeah, I smell what you're cooking. Yeah. I'm yep. working with you, Dingle. I got you. I may be the silver fox, as Liam so affectionately called me last night, but uh, I, I am with you. Silver him. fox. Yes, the silver I think that means fox. something different. I had a good little chuckle at that one last night as I sat there and prepared for my, my evening tea. <clears throat> yes, Morg meme was there for that one, too. She quite enjoyed it, if I do recall. I will admit, I mean, that jacket you got on, I think I'd buy that IRL. I'm not going to lie. 
That is it the ah it's the red one. Yeah, it's pretty pretty uh fresh. A little red, white, and blue action going on there. Mm-hmm. I'm a patriotic Russian. <laughs> so um right now where we're at is we are by sniper tower. It should be on like the far right in the kind of middle of the map. Well, not in the like mid center of the map, but like right, very far right hand side, um, center. Should see a uh, scout tower. Okay. It's down by the road. Okay. Another thing I don't know: what house fall damage. Obviously, I can break my ankles and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty. Uh, it actually used to not be bad up until like a couple months ago, and they released a patch that changed it. And it uh, it affects like how much weight you have on you affects the amount of fall damage you take. So like if you have a Makes really sense. full backpack and you jump off of you know six feet becomes like ten feet. Gotcha. Makes sense. And okay, so we're just making our way to Chad. These I'm gonna right I'm gonna now. apologize now if I don't see something you guys type. Just so keeps, stashes can spawn like some of the best like, armor in the game, uh, some of the best helmets in the game. That's kind of what we're going on what here. Says at the moment. So these are kind of like stashed all over the map type of thing, Dingle? Uh, yeah, they're at like set locations, so it's not something that's random. How do I get off the stupid stick? I can't, I'm stuck yeah. on the stick! Well, there's an invisible barrier here. You oh, like can't it? go into the water. Yeah. I was like, what the hell is going on? Why can't I? Yeah, you can't go into water in this game. You can go through like shallow puddles, but. Okay, looks like there's bullets, 9mm and M80, M55 on here. Um, okay, whenever you're, um, What's by the app? way, whenever you're, like, reading stuff off to me, don't be afraid to ask if stuff is good. Like, What's when it? you're reading stuff off to me, um, just read, like, what the abbreviation for it is. What's an Aventail? A, a what? It's an Aventail. It looks like a black, look at it. Go in there and look. Aventail. Looks like a, a face shield. Oh, Aventail. Um, pick it up. It's, it's, um, it, it goes on, like, the back of a, um, a Vulcan helmet. It's, like, neck protection. I got you. Yeah, 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 I know what that is. Tier 5, it's actually really good. Not a lot of people use them, but. So, what, what you kind of do, like, it's whenever you're looting space. stuff. I can't pick it up. Uh, here, do you have a backpack? You don't have a backpack? Take this. What am I picking up? Over there. So what you kind of do in Tarkov is you pick up, like, pretty much everything. I mean, there's a couple things that, like, just aren't worth picking up. Um, but you pick up pretty much everything, and then you just replace it with better loot over time. Okay, where are we going? Where'd you go? Right up here. The hell? I, could hear, I could hear you. I couldn't see you. That's all. It's your Zachary. Wasn't me. Ну и чё тут есть, кто нет? Say nice things to me, Dingle. Loud noises? What loud noises? Here's another one. Search. <laughs> Looks like I got some food, another grenade type thing. Got some oat flakes. Some sunglasses. Yeah, oak flakes and sunglasses. Leave? Yeah. Done. Yeah, don't pick those up. So, when you're eating and drinking in this game, right, um, most food is going to, um, by the way, there's mines around here, so just don't oh. go too close to there, awesome. to that, like, that compound. Um, when you're eating and drinking in this game, uh, most food decreases your hydration, so you have to have something to, like, balance it out. So, like, gotcha. you have to eat, and then you have to drink. And, like, oat flakes, if you eat oat flakes, it's going to just destroy your hydration. Somebody's shooting. Yeah, they're pretty far. Why do we want to yell? What are we yelling at? Who's being loud with loud Bullet noises? travel sound kind of works like it does in real life. Like, it depends on, you know, if they're inside. It depends on if they're outside. It depends on if there's, like, a bunch of hills between you. And, I mean, it travels very, very far. Okay. So, how do you, like, what, what made EFT such a game that clicked with you? Um, it's not easy. 
the fact that it's and it is a little complicated and oh yeah it's 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 really con like i have i'm rolling up on like 1200 hours gotcha hey, and there, what's up, i man? still don't know like nearly everything in the game my mini me is in the uh, chat i'm pretty excited that my son is here my unsubbed son used his prime sub on somebody else <coughs> we get I'm shot dead. at he's down he's down below he's at the um tier left like towards the road where by the truck the boat he's, he's inside yeah. of the fence oh, he got me too i'm hiding behind a tree yeah. i couldn't see him i seen him and then as soon as i see him yeah so that was a pmc so you can tell like if it's okay so you see your death screen yep you can always tell 100 percent of the time if it was a player or if it was a an ai um by if they have a report button next to their name so you see how it has like that little triangle thing? Yep. And plus MP Dragon isn't a uh, uh isn't AI a scav name, name as yeah, you could yeah, as yeah. you can imagine. Yeah, I got that. Um and the crown next to his name and his name being in yellow means that he has EOD, which is the hundred and forty dollar edition of the game. Oh, nice. But most so of the time if you die to somebody who's like sus yeah. um and they have EOD, they're probably not cheating. Gotcha. Most cheaters are on standard accounts. I didn't even get to shoot my yeah, gun. Win some, you lose some. Kind of sad. I should have okay. just started spamming the trigger just to get some rounds off. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had him. I like aimed at him and then died. Yeah, I didn't even see him. He had. He, he sounded like he had, like was using silenced because I I just hear the crack. I couldn't hear the uh, the actual shot. Just so skipping class, Theron. Yeah. Whatever Kingpin, that is your real name. Everybody harass Kingpin. His sword is fake. It's a lie. It's only one sword in this. What class are you skipping? All right, so back to the main screen. I have nada. So, um, you like him though? He bullies you. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, Tell we're me. just going to do our, um, go run. Yeah, we're just going to do our run now. Okay. So, um, you can go to PMC and, um, okay. Everything's yeah, you can great. Go ahead and hop in the lobby. Everything is awesome. Shoreline? Yes, sir. 10 a.m. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, next, enable offline mode. No. Yeah, and you can always go to offline mode and, like, run around and stuff, and if you die, you don't lose anything. Okay. So it's, like, good practice or, you know, to learn the map. Okay, you going to pull me in, or how's this going to work? Yeah. Liam redeemed for me to bring a chatted kit, so I have to change, yeah, no change kits really quick, but I'm almost ready. No worries. Liam, thank you for gifting a sub to my son. The brat. The 21 year old brat. Appreciate that, buddy. I am hopping in queue. All right. Kingpin, make sure you say, I love you. You are invited. Yes. What's happening, Mao Man? How are you, brother? I lurked your stream so hard the other day. It was awesome. GG's, by the way. I love watching you and uh, Mr. Lobster get her done. Uh, what's your favorite element of this game, Dingo? My favorite element about this game? Yeah. Ooh, that's tough. Because um, there's a lot to this game. This game, like, the fact that you have your, your little, like, house thing... Yeah, uh, bunker. I'll give you two. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick one. Um, one would have to be the gun like customization in this game, like it's just sick and like everything is real. Like these are actual like real branded you yeah. know attachments and yeah. like when uh, I see it on screen, really cool. I'm like, yeah, that's an EOTech or that's a Vortex. Like I I know yep. what I'm seeing when I when I see it up on screen. What what's what's actually really interesting is like the uh, companies yes, please. Um, who make these. Who make these attachments and stuff? They either send in um, the attachments like to BSG and then they 3D scan really? them into the game. 
or the yeah or the gun companies actually 3d scan them and then send it into uh to eft so, so like they have permission to use all this and they work directly with these gun companies so who is but it would either have to be that or like the no hud approach yeah, yeah, like yeah, no yeah. map no yeah, yeah. anything who makes the game is it a north american company uh no it's it's a uh, it's battle state games it's a russian company it's a russian company I, yeah see that's the game I think is that's um, part developed of what, in russia yeah i think that's part of what made me think they just stole everything <laughs> So they I um they actually way, it's true. they actually like go and test like ballistics on different kinds of ammo on armor and they go out and they shoot these guns and use all these different attachments and everything. That's like how they balance the game. That's is cool. they like actually use it in real life and see like yeah, how yeah, effective yeah. it is in real life. It's fun. I really gotta figure out my crouch key and why it won't let me crouch or lie down. Not that I'm ever gonna really use it, but I should have just, I'm thinking about it now, I should have just ran from that guy and let him come try and chase me down. Yeah, that's kind of a hard thing to figure out. Like, the combat in this game is so different from other games. Yeah. I tried to PUBG it and just stand behind a tree a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, that guy hit me his first shot, so I assumed he was pretty decent. Oh, yeah. And was... I was just, like, in the open, so I just automatically just turned on him and knew I either had to kill him or I was going to die. So, and I didn't kill him, so I died. <laughs> As did I. And if the, <laughs> the jokes for days, thanks there, uh, and if. <clears throat> All right. But how are you today, end of? Did he, uh, did he plant that joke in, in your stream? Mm -hmm. St Stormtrooper joke. <laughs> end of exposed. <laughs> yeah, and if I, I, I gave you a sub, I forget which stream it was I gave you, uh, I gave you one in. But thanks for coming and saying hi to me, man. There you are, dude. Okay, Holy so backpack. We going camping, Dingle? Yeah. Uh, this, <laughs> this is like, there you go. This is actually the best spawn to uh, rush that area I was talking about, but we're not going to do that. It only gives me the option um, to oh, search it. I can't pick it up. Um, oh, because I got a little oh, backpack you on. You have That's to examine why. it. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is there's some Vaseline in there. You're going to put that in your uh, in your alpha container. It's pretty expensive stuff. And put the compass in your compass slot. It won't let me equip it. It won't let, uh, probably because you haven't examined it. You have to examine everything before you can equip it. I did. Your, your compass, it won't let you equip. You see your pockets? It should be to the right of your pockets. Yeah, there's no compass in there. I didn't drop you a compass? I, I didn't pick one up. You might have dropped one. Uh, there, there should be one in that rig. Oh, you yeah, you have to search the rig. Oh, yeah, and that backpack is yours, so you can just drop your backpack and your rig. You can put all of your stuff into that rig that I gave you. That's an armored rig that I brought you in. I'm not leaving you. I'm just making sure nobody's coming up on yeah, it. Yeah, appreciate it. Okay, so I've, I've searched it. Oops, but it won't let me equip it. Because you're wearing... Uh, I'm trying to, well, I'm even trying to drop the one that I've got. Unequip. No space for this item. Discord. Discard. It's quick. You can also like bind a hotkey to Discord. I think default is delete. Yeah, it's it won't like let me pick this bag up, ever. Dingle. It won't let you pick it up? Can't find a place for this item, it says. Here. Let's try it again. Right there. Just hit take. There you go. Gotcha. The other bag that I dropped is over here. I don't know if you want it or not. Yeah, just leave it. Okay. You did insure, right? Nope. I don't even know what that is. Uh, it's okay. Um, <laughs> so drop your rig, or take everything that's in your rig and put it inside of that rig that I gave you. It's in the backpack. I had nothing in that other rig. Okay, so just drop it. What am I dropping? The rig that you're wearing. The backpack or the rig? The rig. Okay. And then you're going to put on that rig that I gave you. Discard. Yep. 
done. So yeah, that's an armored rig, so it's going to give you some protection. Um, and then there should be a compass inside of that rig and some Vaseline that's inside of that rig. Yep. So, you, so you'll put the compass in your compass slot and you'll put the Vaseline in your alpha container. The Vaseline is like a long-lasting painkiller. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Am I picking this, not picking this other rig up uh, that just, I drop? Here, I'll pick, I'll pick the rig up, but the backpack's not working. Okay, let's go. So you'll just have to, uh, I'll teach you how to insure after this, uh, raid. You gotta be patient with me, so guys. So, like, I'm insurance is, like, if, uh, if I die right now, right, and nobody loots me, then yep. I get all of my stuff back. Where, okay. like, if you were to insure, right, like, that rig and that backpack on you is insured right now. So if you were to die, and then I kill the guy that killed you and hide your stuff, then you get it back. Okay. Like, you'll get it back the next day okay. in a message. Yeah, well, let's so, do that next time. Show me how to insure stuff next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's always worth to insure every single time. Yep. So right now we're coming up on Rock Passage. Um, this is like in the middle top of the map. So this is um, what's called a non-guaranteed extract. So like, it may be up, it may not be. If it's okay. up, it's up for all the PMCs. If it's not up, it's not up for any PMCs. How do you check? And What's the uh, button how you check for... and see if it's up? Yeah. Oh, uh, double tap O. I think is default. Yeah. Gotcha. So if this extract were to be up, you would see green smoke down to our right, but it's not up. So, okay. yeah. Um. So we're gonna cross on over and we're gonna go to village. Okay. He's on like near the opposite side of the map. So the big boy area I'm talking about is like directly to our left. Big boy area, that's the complex? The resort. Yeah, you, you come right here. You can see it like straight out. You see like that yep. huge building way off in the distance? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so you can just loot this. Loot where you are? Right here. Nothing probably going to be, there's nothing crazy in there. But it's a headset. What kind of headset? Uh, oh, okay, you're wearing it now? Yeah. The yeah, GSSH. I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't like that headset, but some people like it. I'll let you know. I think they... You said what? I'll let you know. Yeah, so basically what I think about that headset is I think that you could wear it for free every way. Just by turning your, your game volume up. Like, I think that's <laughs> all that it does. You just your game volume up. But then I gotta listen to you louder. The other headsets, like what they do is they like kind of muffle your own footsteps. Like these headsets I'm wearing right now, they like, muffle like ambient noise, so, like the rain isn't quite as loud. Gotcha. Um, and other, uh, like other people's footsteps, um, bring the rain at a further distance away, instead of it just making it louder. Yep. You're running on me, Dingle. So whenever I'm rotating around on this map, usually what I like to do is stick along the wall okay. because um, I don't have to worry about anybody to my right. There's nobody on the wall or on the other side of the wall. Yeah, as long as it's impossible in the wall, yeah. Um, and as long as you keep like a steady pace, you really don't even have to worry about people behind you. You only have to worry about people in front of you and people to your left. Yeah, makes sense. Especially if you're in good. Yeah. Yeah. Who else in chat plays yeah so there's a uh, scab spawn we're coming up on so there may be a couple scabs here um you can uh i can let you fight them yep. I'm glad you're having a good day more uh now appreciate the fact you even stopped in bud yeah they spawn up here to our left like at the drop Like they've spawned in yet. Sometimes uh, the AI scavs will spawn in later in the, the raid. So yeah, there's two strikers. Uh, Kaisich and a gun. 
I see. Uh, item found in the raid. Expect. It's a flashlight, laser designator. Ah, um, yeah, take it. Yeah, Morgan, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat. Watched a ton of. What is it? It's a mount for shotguns. Uh, yeah, don't worry about that. So this is like kind of one of those things where you just have to play and like learn what's good. Yeah. Because like there's mounts for guns that are like hundreds of thousands of rubles, and then there's mounts that are like literally not even worth picking up. Same way for grips and sights and. What's free look? I can't remember. Uh, I think default is like hold down your scroll wheel, like clicking your scroll wheel. I don't know. Yeah, it is. Literally all my games are free. Yeah, I figured it out. It doesn't let you look very far though when you're free looking. Yeah, it doesn't. I always say it's like you woke up with like a kink in your neck. Yeah. <laughs> Playing park off. So yeah, we're just making our way to village. We still have just a little bit to go. Yeah. Um, is there a way to change um, whether it's a semi-automatic or fully automatic? Uh, I think B is default. at some point is sensitivity. Yeah, if you need to adjust your sensitivity. So one of the things about sensitivity in this game, honestly, I hate it and I wish they would change it so bad, is like armors and like certain armors and certain helmets can impact the player's sensitivity. So like your free look sensitivity and stuff. Gold chain. You said there was a gold chain in there? Yep. Nice. Good one. Oh, that receiver battery is good too. This is uh, pretty good too, this coffee. Place is loaded. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Let's take it down. I can get you there. So, cigarettes and stuff aren't worth picking up. Cigarettes and lighters aren't worth picking up. Either are matches. So it's got a green battery and a double A battery. Green battery is good, double A battery is not. Okay. Uh, what about cleaner? No, cleaner is pretty good. Okay. What else we got here? What's this here? Is that WD-40? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, get this over here. Fleet pliers. Those are pretty good. Where, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, right there, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim called you bling immersed. Who called me what? Jim, Uncle Jim the Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He called you bling immersed. Bling immersed, because I got that gold chain, yo. You got the gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Uncle Jim? How are you, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Bling immersed. <laughs> That's yeah, we're rolling up on um, rolling up on village right now. So, so village is a lot better earlier in the light because there's a lot of coats which can give you keys. And keys early in the night, right for work or waiting gold. There's a coat right there. I mean, let's let's be honest. Uh, for as, as far as I'm concerned, there may as well just been a wipe. Yeah. 
cigarettes. Yeah, you still have a couple, two, three months before life. Honestly, this is about the perfect time to get started because you can, you know, you know, at least figure out the base game and how it's played. Yeah. And then um, you get to experience your first life level. You know, so itself. when you say wipe, oh, there's a key in here. Factory key. It, it erases everything. So you lose all your money, you lose all your yep. everything. Yep, lose everything. Here's a bag in here. That kind of sucks. Yeah, but if you play the game, like... Like, if you've been playing the game all white, regardless, like, if, you know, you're a casual player, if you're hardcore and play it every day. Yeah, yeah, um, Like, it, you just acquire so much stuff and so much progress that, like, wipes are refreshing. Yeah, screws. Because, honestly... The other, the other thing was a bulb, Dingle. Screw nuts are pretty good. Um, bulbs are okay. Screws are pretty trash at this point in life. Yeah, there was a bulb. Early wipe, like, all components like that are worth a lot of money. Because you need them for your hideout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, like, people overpay for them like crazy. Because they want to get their hideout done quickly. Gotcha. So, I assume not every building that has things in them to loot. Yeah, or things that are, you know, valuable. Uh, so, like, a loot from a loot table standpoint. guaranteed that there's never going to be something of value in certain places is that what you're yeah saying? pretty much like in that one building that we passed there's a toolbox spawn so like and that's it so like there's just and in a toolbox like the max loot that you can get is like pretty trash so like we're in this building up here that we're about to go to um not this one but the one we're going to next it has, it has a tip with called a tech spawn which can spawn graphics cards and stuff like that which are um, really expensive. There's a uh, weapons case over here. Over here. Nice. Yeah, that, I guess one of the issues I have with the way <laughs> the way I'm doing this looks like a, a stock. Basic. Basic. Stock. So it's probably not good. I'll take it anyways. Yeah. You, what you're what you're gonna learn is you just take loot and then you replace you know replace it with things of more value as you find things that you're really Yeah, what I was saying is that the way I'm going about this today with you is I'm gonna have a hard time doing flies. Yeah. There's a dead down in front of us. Somebody's been here or something. Um so yeah, I'm trying to like tell you where we're going. The best thing to do is just for you to try to follow along with your on your map. Uh, in this White House right here. Dickie Needles! I got you. There's some RAM in here. RAM's pretty good. So this is where the tech spawn is in this building. It's in that drawer on top of the... Yep. Okay, okay, so let's just sit in here for a second. I uh, can probably explain to you Shoreline maybe a little bit easier so you can understand how the map works. Um, so you have the map pulled up, right? I do now, yeah. Okay, so... Um, on Shoreline, there's one giant divider that runs down the middle of the map. And there's only a couple crossing points, like, on that divider. Yeah. Um, one being at the very bottom, at gas station. One being in the middle, at power station. And then one being at the top, above resort. So, resort is, like, dead center of the map. Okay. Right? So, the main thing that you just need to, like, focus on, like, learning as a new player is just which side of the map you're on. Like, are you on the left side or are you on the right side? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, if, uh, we're in Village right now, so we're on, like, the far right side of the map. No, the far left side of the map. Yeah, yeah, I got you. The Village. Yep. So we haven't heard anybody shoot, um, to kill this scab. So there is spawns on this side of the map, so there's probably somebody that spawned here earlier. So I'm not, like, too concerned. One thing I would say is, I mean, you play your game, and I'm just kind of following along with you, right? Um, no. We're Teach playing, we're playing can, something. There's a stash. Oh, so there's I'm collision. Playing. I can get in your way here. That's oh, yeah, yeah, you definitely know. can. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, like, good to know for, like, um, not to, like, stack up on people if they're, like, pushing up a staircase. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
because like if I start getting shot at and I try to run backwards, I'm just dead. Uh, there's a Glock in there. Um, you can take it. If you hold Alt and then left click it, it'll auto equip it to your player. Yeah, there's uh, so an ammo pack in here too, a five by um, five by forty-five. What what's the abbreviation? Like BS or is it? Yes. BS. Ooh, BS is good stuff. So we're just going through village right now, just looting these buildings. Okay. You got two coats in here. This is kind of like what village is. Um, Hope you're doing good today, Juicy. Good for. It's like looting coats and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And coats are where you find a lot of keys and stuff, I assume? Yep. Found some rubles. So come in here. So typically, you see how this just says breach? So typically, um, if you don't have a key, it, well, every time, if you don't have a key and it's a locked door, it'll say breach. But this isn't really a room with a key in it. Most doors, you are not breachable. But in this case, this door is breachable, so you can breach it. Yeah, kick it. There's nothing inside, but yeah. How do I do that? Just F. Clear, clear, clear. Look up there. <laughs> Spooky chair. Spooky chair. That's all that's in here. <laughs> I'm good, okay, Juicy. So... Thank you for asking. I'm playing EFT and I suck. There's a bag. Nice. Nice. Juicy, you ever played this before? It's a battery, Dingle. Oh, like a car battery? Yeah. Mm. Here, um, drop your backpack really quick. How do I? I need to discard. Somebody shoot me, Dingle. Yeah, it's fine. You can also fold things like that AKS. You can fold it by clicking in middle scroll wheel over it. Gotcha. Oh, you got a factory key. Yeah, I uh, asked that one earlier. Yeah. Okay. Scott, put uh, a lot of stuff in your rig. Oh, yes. I always forget. I, I would think I got to put it in my backpack. Sure, you're take that back. Put that factory key in one of your uh, gamma or one of your alpha slots. Factory key. What factory key? I see no factory key. Uh, oh, one search. It I should say search. factory. Oh, you just put all that stuff in there? I got you. Am I taking this battery, or what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to take the battery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giving you for space. You said put the factory key in, um... Put the factory key in your alpha container. Okay. Because that vendor's for, like, quite a bit of money, so even if... So you... To sell something on the flea market to get, like, its max value, um, you have to have the item found in raid, which means you have to extract with it. Okay. But that key scared the poop out of me. That key vendors. So like me? even if you die yeah, you got <laughs> <laughs> So even if you die, you can just sell it to therapist. Oh, we're getting pushed. Talk to me, Dingle, what am I doing? Here. Uh, he's like where we went to loot that text one. I may have killed him. So we're gonna flank him. We're gonna go live. Yeah, let's go. Um, we get out right here. We're gonna go as wide as we can. This way. Yeah, I'm with you. He's 
over here to the right, right where we're running. Yep. I'm out of breath. I'm be careful. Here. <laughs> Juicy uh, is like, this is like watching me play. I love it. <laughs> not sure whether I should be happy with you right now, Juicy, or not. I want to kill this guy. Oh, I killed him. Let's go. Right here. This guy was a level 65. Oh, Holy. wow. Okay. I'll let you search him. Uh, no, that's all you. You're going to use that 8K. Holy wow, crap. Wow, that is one heavy man. Yes, he is very heavy. He's running the same gun I'm running. It's literally the best gun in the game. Holy shite. So yeah, you're gonna drop your AK by the way, and you're yeah, gonna take yeah. that P90, and you're gonna take yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. So see, what I'm gonna do is I have this backpack insured, so I'm gonna dump that backpack in a bush, and I'm gonna take his backpack. Here, we're gonna do this. Um. Wow. I'm, what I'm doing right now is I'm tossing everything in. It won't let me equip his um, armor. Um. Yeah, that's okay. It's because you're wearing armor. I can't find a place for it. Bear with me one second yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to... Uh, yeah, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm just trying to... Um, so he's got a red dot on top of this. How do I activate that red dot instead of the scope he's got? Um, we'll get to that in one second. Yeah, no worries. I'll show I'm you. just trying to uh, discard your headphones and take his headphones. I did that already. Okay. Uh, no, you didn't. No, I didn't. I took mine off. I didn't take his, though. Yep. We got to get in somewhere to sort this. So what I usually try to do in a situation like this where that guy's dead in the open is I'm just going to try to get the loot inside of a building and then we can figure out, you know, what goes where and what to take uh, first. Okay, so you have his armor and stuff? I, I put it in my backpack. Here. Okay, okay, let's go. Um, uh, let's, let's go to the text one, actually. That'd probably be a little safer, a little bit easier to defend. I lost you. Where'd you go? Oh, outside. Right, right here. Come back the way you came. I'm inside. I'm just gonna stop moving. It's me. Yeah, so we're gonna just go into the tech building. So... Yeah, like I said, usually I just like to get the loot and take it inside. I'm rather severely overweight with the gear I got on. Yeah, you're fine. I can't We're gonna run figure it out. Right now, so. We're gonna figure it out. You're fine. You're just fine. Don't worry about it. Right. Can I close the door? Okay, Risk. So you are one large man right now. Um, so what you're going to do is, so that rig that you're wearing is insured. Okay. Um, let me search this and we'll figure out what's, um, what's worth keeping. Yeah, In the meantime, we'll you can drink that. I can drink what? So I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a bunch of gear in my, my rig. Yeah, just, um, yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to insurance for all that rig that's mine. Okay. So I get that back on insurance, and you're going to take stuff that's worth more money. Okay. Um, here, um, this would actually probably be, hmm. here, drop your backpack. Ooh, 
we'll be here all day sorting this loot. So I'll just uh, yeah. I'll just see like what's worth the most money. Okay. Remember, so, I need guns, so I'd like to take yeah, out yeah, as yeah. many as yeah, I that's, can if that's, possible. Yep. That's what we're we're going for. Um. <laughs> Scarlet Scarlet's OCD is going through the roof right now. I mean, to be honest, I want to rearrange Ooh. your stuff so much too. Okay, so take this. Whatever he's drinking. What am I taking? Um, here. You're gonna wear that, and you're going to wear that. Now drop the rig that you have on right now. So I'm, I was gonna say I'm gonna have to drop something here. Hold on. It's got all my bolats and stuff in it. I guess I don't need that stuff since I don't have any of it. Where? Where? Okay. Putting that backpack back on. I'm sorry, how do I change the sights again? I'm sorry, do you want to put that backpack on or? Uh, no. Um, do you have a spare gun slot? Uh, yes. Question mark. Okay. So take this P90 and put that in your gun slot. And then you're going to just take that backpack. Okay. Say again. I'm going to do what to the who now? So take that P90, put it in your gun slot. So you'll just be able to pick it up and it should go into your secondary gun slot. Okay. okay, now take that backpack and put it on. Okay. okay, now you're going to... How much do you weigh right now? Uh, you tab up in your inventory under where your guns are. It'll have a weight. Under where my guns are. 62.9 kgs. 62.9? I'm yellow right now. Okay. Um, Take that. Take and you're going to inject that. Take that? That mule. Mule. It's a stimulant. Yep. Now inject that. Adrenaline? Uh, no. It's a mule. That's what it's called. Oh, it's in my pocket. Use. Okay. All right. Now we're gaming. Let's go. Okay, All right, I'm sure. not taking any of this AKM on the floor or anything like nope. that. I'm not taking any of that stuff. You don't have any more space. You're cool. All right. Let's go. So I heard some money. Um, so we're more. extracting at tunnel, which is like right over here. So one more quick question. Um, mm -hmm. Again, this this three X that I've got on here has a. Um, I'm just hiding that rig. Yeah. Has. Um, yeah, I'll show you how to do that after we get out of raid because I don't know. Right, let's go. I just want to. So be up here, this is tunnel. Out. The hill above tunnel. It's like a popular extract camping slot, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to just sniped here a couple times. Some of the extra is there. So let's go. So here's your extract. Oh, GG's. That may be the best first raid in Tarkov history. <laughs> especially with, uh, whew, especially with um, killing that big dude that you did there. Thank you very much again. A raid without a shot. That's not. Yeah, that was a that was a large man. That was a large man. I will take said large. He man was a level sixty five. Like being a level sixty five in this game is like freaking impressive. Is it? What are you right max now? level is so <clears throat> max level is 70 in this game to get to level 69 
to level 70. Thanks for tolerating this, to, guys. It's, uh, it's 69 levels worth of XP. So you basically have to hit level 69 to two this. times in a row to get level 70. Oh, wow. So if you ever see somebody who's a level 70, like, it's either Landmark or they have no life. Gotcha. Um, survived. Next. I'm level, th almost level three. I'm just shy of level three at the moment. Okay, so yeah, that gray Scarlet armor that you got, R. that's tier five. That's one knock under, um, that's one knock under the, uh, best armor in the game. And the, the trooper, which is the one that says, like, USEC on it, that's, like, kind of your, that's, like, a slight, that's, like, mid-tier. It's, like, level four. It's the most common armor. What's, why did that ask me to either next or apply? Oh, uh, that's to heal. Gotcha. I don't think I had any healing to do. Except for a little brush against some barbed wire. Scarlet is, is uh, having an OCD conniption fit at the moment. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because I might... Because <laughs> my... Uh, my rig is so bad. <laughs> okay, so I got to get a bunch of... I got to... Can I just examine the whole pack? Search. How do I search the whole pack? I guess I can. I got to search everything piece by piece, I guess. Eh? All right, so let's, let's go sell some stuff. Give me two seconds. I have to open a Pokemon pack. <laughs> Yeah, giddy up, bro. S somebody redeemed it. Yeah, giddy up. That's awesome. So I guess that, I mean, is it assumed then that after I see each of these pieces then, chat, that I don't have to do this every time? I'll just know what it is each time now? can hit control and just right click it helps oh gotcha but then i gotta then i gotta sort afterwards once you search it you never have to okay good thanks appreciate that liam gold chain i don't need that oh there's a bunch of fn ammo that's nice Factory key can go. I guess I'll keep that on me as well. I think then go. I already did it. Faster than me. Yeah, I think. I mean, I get the looting meta fairly good. I don't know why I got a hose, but I do. Um. Ibuprofen. I'm not is that mag for this gun. I guess I can use it for. All right, I'm back. All right, there, cool. There was nothing good in it. <laughs> that sucks. The the four one six A five, I can use this mag five because I think it's got a drum mag on it at the moment. Four one six A five. Oh, you're the HK. The HK, yeah. So that HK, uh, double click on it. Yeah. I didn't look, but I'm pretty sure it's meta. Um, so double click on it, and it should say vertical recoil. What is the vertical recoil? Vertical recoil is thirty nine. That's the best gun in the game. That you have right now good get on my level yep <laughs> that guy wasn't unfortunately um yeah i'm exam i'm just give me a second i'm gonna examine all the parts on the gun here just so that uh, yeah no worries i can learn all the things rear sight <clears throat> 
All right, so what do I want to do? I want to leave this here. Where do I want to go in with that? I'm going to, I think I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to bring in. The yeah, I would SKS. leave the HK. Um, I'll leave it until I'm better. Mm hmm. Typically, you just try to snowball like all for raids like these. So you bring in trash, you leave with good stuff. Yep. Okay. So that thing that you injected, um, that's my favorite stimulant in the game. Okay. Um, so basically what it does is, I mean, you kind of seen, it allows you to have like, it increases your max uh, strength and endurance by quite a bit for a short period of time. So like you can get really, really, really heavy and you can run like, you know, perfectly fine. Um, but the drawbacks, like a lot of stems have drawbacks, like negative effects. Negative effects on mule is um, your, it drains your health over I'll do time. That now, That's a good idea. Um, so you lose 0 0.1 health every second. And um, your damage taken is increased by 9% on everything but the head. Gotcha. So like if somebody shoots you, you take 9% more damage, which can make or break a gunfight. But, okay. you know, you're making a lot of money off of having it. So. Okay. I'm All right, well, I'm good to roll. All right. Let me... Uh... Um, I'm not gonna bring the heads. I'll bring that headset. Am I bringing armor? Do yeah, I, I would. I would armor? run the headset. Headsets I, are always worth running. Do I want to bring body armor or no? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll run what gun armor. are you bringing in? I'm gonna bring the SKS in. You're gonna bring an SKS. Um. Okay then. Um. Let me see. I may have some armor for you that would be kind of fitting for the SKS. Okay. And do I? Um. Do I want to bring? Any med stuff in? I got a survive twelve thing. Um, I have I have all of that. Okay, so don't bring. Cra oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You have a serve twelve. Yes. You can just keep that. Actually, I brought that in, but you can you can just keep it. I have too much money to care. Do I? So you're saying bring it in or no? I'll I'll bring one in. Typically, you're gonna bring in either a um, either a serve twelve or a um, CMS kit. So basically what these do is like if you were to um if you were to get into a gunfight and somebody like completely destroys your leg or something. Yep. You can use this to like like it, it's what's called blacked out like they can black out your yep. leg and then it's completely useless. So this brings a blacked out limb back from the grave. So okay, got you. It's really good. Got you. Um so yeah, I have you armor. If you bring a rig, I have your armor. So don't bring helmet. Actually, I, I have I have your rig and everything. Just don't even worry about it. So don't bring a tactical rig in. Don't don't bring don't bring anything. Okay. Well, bring your gun. Just bring a gun and your mags. And am I bringing your backpack back in? Yeah, yeah. We're run that backpack back. Okay. So the SKS doesn't headphones. have mags. It just feeds from the top, I assume. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, actually, let me bring in ammo for your SKS. How do you, can I load ready to do with me? My scav is ready if we want to run scav again. That's fine. We can do that. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, and you'll bring a, um, make sure you have a Sawaya and a Hemostat. Those are the two most important things that you bring in. Sawaya and Hemostat. Okay, we'll have to... You don't necessarily have to bring a Sawaya. You could bring, like, an IFAC. But so an IFAC or a Sawaya will stop light bleeds. Okay. And then you're going to use your hemostat to stop heavy bleeds. Okay. So light bleeds, you can kind of let them go for like, you know, a minute if you need to. Like, it's going to drain your health, but you can kind of let them the go. SKS heavy needs bleeds, a, like, you have to like take care Scarlet? of like pretty much right then and there or you're going to die. Okay. I'm talking, um, Scarlet uh, and I are going back and forth about the SKS and needing, um, how do you load it? Do I need a, a um, mag? It, it top loads. Okay, that's what I figured. So we're doing a scav yeah. run? Yeah, we'll do a scav run. Okay. Control line. Um, we'll go late. So sixteen ten. Yep. <coughs> Look at that, level two. Let's go. 
Let's go. Reload. Yeah, I think that the, the biggest thing is going to be the maps. I mean, like anything else, it's like Rainbow Six, you know, learning the maps and your rotate yeah. points and all that kind of crap. It's so huge to, like, learn the maps in this game. That's, like, one of your first big steps. And I think that's, I mean, for me, that's probably one of the big problems in, I mean, I get the the technical elements of combat. I mean, I know what I need to do, how to shoot and move and all that kind of stuff. And I know how to do, I mean... IRL, I know how to do this stuff. Yeah. Um, just well, translating the, it. Yeah, the trans <laughs> the transition comes in knowing the map yeah. enough to feel comfortable and to remember yeah. <laughs> to actually do it, you know? I always recommend that you stick to one map yeah. when you get off. Um, just sticking to, like, one map for a couple days and just learning it. Yeah. So customs are where, like, a lot of your early uh, game quests are. Um, that you're going to have to do to, you know, level up your traders and stuff like that. Yeah. But on the flip side, customs, um, it has a lot of heavily geared players like Shoreline, but they don't really condense to one area is the problem. So, like, you just have heavily geared players just roaming around everywhere. Yeah. Like, that guy that we killed, he was... You killed, yeah. He had probably come from Resort, so, like, that big area. He probably came from there. Have and, fun um, bathing your dog, heading to the Morg. extract we were at. Oh. Is that you? Is in that front you running? Me? No, that's not me. I'm like, oh wait, hang on. This is me right here. Okay, who's the guy kill by him. the truck that's over scab. there? Can that's I kill scab. him? <laughs> yeah, you can kill him. I'm gonna die. Wait, this gun is horrible. Oh my god. I got him. Yeah, you have a Taz. It's like a bolt action shotgun. It's like the worst thing. In oh, the it's game. a shotgun. Yeah, that right. guy has a college too. Oh, he does? I was going to say, okay, let me get rid of this thing. Um, This guy may have had something better. No. He's got a, oh, they got another ta uh, scab over here. Yep, yeah. I could be oh, okay, so this guy has something decent. This guy has an ADOR. You know what an ADOR is? Oh, Ooh. behind. I don't know where? where that was from. Yeah, neither do I. That was probably a player. Just trying not to stay still. It's one of the worst things you can do in this game. Yep. I don't. In the same boat. I'll be up above us. Where? I think I heard him. I'm behind you like by the yellow hill. bus. Did you know it? I'm to your right at the, the moment. He is. I see you. I don't know where that guy was. I don't know, but he gave up pretty quick. I think when he saw two of us, maybe he just buggered off. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know where the shot was. It sounded weird. Um. Just continue to loot this guy and get his mags and everything. Yep. I'll cover. Okay, give me a sec. Scav down there, but that wasn't shot at us. A player shot on us. How do I put this on? Or is that on me? He has no mags, so, this guy. Uh, they should be in his rig. Searches tactical rig. I see no tactical rig. It's on, uh, on his chest. Inspect. Oh, 
I'm confused. Um, here I'm coming to you. This should be called. What is he wearing? The 6SH 1212 thing. I see Tarzan. Tarzan? Yeah, it says, unless that's my rig. Oh, that's your rig. Yeah. I, I, I can't see. It doesn't show me his rig. Huh? Oh, there it is. Um, I got to scroll down. Sorry, guy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What am I doing with that? Uh, searching it and taking his magazines. Gotcha. He's only got one mag in there. Sorry. Scrolling down is helpful. Okay, we're good. Okay. We'll keep moving on. Um, check your mag. Oh, wait. You don't know what default is for that. Uh, Somebody help me out here. What's the default for check mag? Shift T lets me check chamber. Yeah, it's not that. Alt T. Says full. Okay, what is it full of? Uh, alt T. I'm standing in the middle of nowhere. Uh, M85. It, okay. Sorry, M855. Yeah. So M855 is pretty trash. So um, M855A1 ammunition. is the best. Yeah. IRL 855 is uh, NATO ball ammunition. So we're going to Scab Island right now. Um, on the map. Find that. So where we killed scabs, whenever you spawn in, if you spawn in as a scab, they're not going to be hostile towards you. But okay. since we've killed a scab, they're going to be hostile towards us. Okay. I just needed to pull the trigger on something. Yep, there's a uh, <laughs> scab up here if you want to kill him. He's going to be on the other side of this building, like right in front of me. Okay. Uh, is there a way to... I see him. That's... Nice. This, there could be some in this building. So, the bit, this boat building here. The building, yep. Yes, sir. Uh, so that's probably all the scabs. I'll check the other areas, but usually they're just standing in the open. Okay. So yeah, you'll just loot that scab. Um, there's going to be a lot of loot here on the island for you. Oops, there's a Saiga here. I will change. Who's shooting? That's really far. Yeah, come in here. Side of the house here. So this is like the best weapons crate that you can loot in the game. Hey, Bachi, games are going good, man. I'm learning very slowly. Um, there's like an AK-47U in there. There's an AK-47U in there, Dingle. Oh, in the crate? Yeah. Let's see what kind of mag it has. Might take its mag. Oh, that's right. I forget you can strip these things down. Yeah, yeah but you will see. Because I only have a 10-rounder. It's it's a struggle for you guys so to watch gonna, this. It's so uh, bad. Slap but this 30 in here. Um... You know, hopefully in time it'll I'll get smoother on this. And oh, this has uh, BP in it. BP isn't very good, but it's not like the Trash. worst. So here's how you can remember, um, like, so PS, right? PS is like the worst ammo for pretty much every caliber. Okay. So here's how you can remember that. PS stands for pretty shit. Okay, I figured so, as much. Yep. <laughs> um... Here's nice. a statue. Thanks, thanks for showing up, buddy. Appreciate your uh, support today. Right there. So the so duct tape, a battery, 
Um, screw nuts. Is that what you said was the good one? Uh, yeah, screw nuts and um, bolts are really good. Duct Especially tape. early wire. Duct tape, Duct tape is pretty good. It's, it's all right. It's old. I bought it. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yeah, I'm with you. Let's get them. Can't go through the towels, apparently. Yeah, the ammo is a little confusing in this game. Like, VP for 545 um, is pretty bad. All 545 ammo, to be honest with you, is not very good. Like, even, like, the S-tier ammo is, like, pretty mediocre compared to other rounds. But, like, uh, VP, think, like, 762 sure is, like, the best uh, in class. So, it's it's weird. You'll just have to play to kind of figure it out. Yeah, yeah. It's like anything else. I mean, this, oh, you zorped a little bit on me there. Uh, yeah, welcome to Fort Call. <laughs> Didn't know if that was my end or how do you tell if it's my end or your end? Um, so your ping is going to be up in the top right. Nope. Uh, okay, then your your ping is fine then. It'll only show it if it's over 50. Okay. Yeah, because you literally were standing still walking in place. It was probably mine because I'm seeing mine spike up a little bit. My ping to Tarkov server just has not been good lately. Yeah, no problem, much. Like, Thanks, buddy. Because, okay. like, uh, I'll be looking at, you know, my Discord ping, and it's, like, 20. Oof. I don't know. I have I have a pretty close server selected to both of us. We're playing on Washington, D.C. servers. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Is this where we were last time? Um, yeah, we're back in, uh, village, so there should just be some stuff lying around here for you, Luke. Give me cool. two seconds. I'm gonna turn my AC up. Yeah, no problem. What's up, Don? Andy. Bolts. I'm playing the game. I'm getting good. Flyers and some wire. There's a bag here too. Yoink. Give me the things. I'm back. Aight. Uh, T-plug. T-plugs are garbage. Garbage. Stay in the bag. Alright. Ready, Freddy? Where are you taking me? All right, so we'll just uh, keep looting around. Loot, loot. Oh, loot. yeah. The only thing in this building is upstairs. Only thing in the building is upstairs. Okay, yep. upstairs. In this building. Is that duffel? Duffel. Like, it's little things like that where I'm just going to take me forever. A lunchbox and some other yeah. big long thing. So don't feel too bad because I no joke probably have like nine hundred hours on this map alone. Xenomorph. Like Xeno. most of my hours are on this map. What's Xeno? Xeno's okay. I have if no you have, space if you have room for, it, for so. it. Okay, yeah, don't pick it up then. And there was a lunch box on, there too, which I don't have space for. Don't move. Oh, those are shots. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell if it's shots or if they're footsteps. Like if they're really faint and muffled. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, that's yeah. in a building. You hear how it kind of has like that muffled effect to it. There's like two different kinds of muffle effects on shots. One of them is because there's like a bunch of hills and stuff between you. And then the other one is because they're in a building shooting. That's in a building muffled. Gotcha. Don, I don't understand your question. This, you is, want me to this is one of the better houses. You want me to leg shot him? <clears throat> Uh, R B A M key. Uh, take all keys. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good key. I will take all the keys. And more duct tape, which I have no room for. So, a rip. Yeah, generally you want to take pretty much all keys. So what's good about keys, right, is like on a PMC run, I have a uh, a container where I can put a bunch of keys into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. in my uh secure container. 
So like I can just take as many as I want. And um, they don't weigh anything, so it doesn't really weigh you down much. Gotcha. It's another duffel. Oh yeah. Don, I don't think my, my teacher for today would be too fond of me leg shotting him. <coughs> uh caps? Um they're like red and blue. Not really things. worth at this point in the white, but caps early wipe are worth a fortune. Okay. Cap. You had one more double down here. Oh, this is kind of like the slow area of um yep. This is kind of the slow area, but Don, right now, what I think Tarko? is like most important for you as a new player is just to like learn which items are you know valuable and worth stuff. worth taking. Yeah, soap. Like just learning like the generic like just don't pick these up type items. Yeah, yeah. Because that's one of the things that'll kill you the most, or not kill you, but like cost you the most in this game, is like you're yeah. sitting there taking T plugs over you know a gold chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So there, one of the things in there was soap. Uh, soap isn't really that worth. There's two coach right here. Oops. I'm running out of space. Some, at some point today, we'll go up to resort. We'll, we'll do a resort run. You like it, Don? Nothing in those. Yeah, you don't have a backpack. Mm. Correct. No Not bueno. Me. I'm a scav. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So what we're gonna do is we are going to. I can't believe none of those scavs we killed didn't have a backpack, or not a single one of them had a backpack. Yeah. Um. We're gonna go up here because there's some. Uh... Oh, Bachi brought up a good point. There are some stashes over here. Which backpacks can spawn in. Nice. Bachi's yeah, good dude. I like Bachi. Yeah, Bachi is the stash master on this is game. He? <laughs> you play you you do you play with uh, Bachi a lot? Yeah, yeah, I play Bachi. Not as much as I'd like to because he's, you know, uh from Sweden and so you don't have to jump in there, but you can like look over from the oh. end and loot it. Cover me. Not as much as I'd like to, because our time zones don't line up very well, but... Yeah, Bocce's good at this game. He knows uh, a lot. Alkali? Mm-mm. Don't take it. Um, and SP... What the heck is that? SP6? Um, SP5? 16 pieces, 9 by 18 PM ammo. I uh, don't take it. Okay. Come on, Steve. There's another stash right here, too. Those, that stash in the middle of nowhere would be really not going to lie. Yeah. So um, here's a little tip for Tarkov. Um, once you start to loot something, like the second you press F, Look you around, know, to yeah. loot to loot a container, you can move around for like a second. So it, you can USB, like hit it. Sorry, I'm going to tell you real quick what we got here. No, you're good. Um, there's AP ammo, 4x6x30. By by AP ammo. AP 4x6. Okay. When you're when you're reading stuff off to me, by the way, just read the abbreviation, just like the full abbreviation. R37F. <laughs> no, don't take it. That's leg meta ammo, so like people shoot each other in the legs with it. Double A batteries and a USB charger thing. Yeah, I don't take any of that. So out. you can move for like a split second, so you can like. You can like start looting something like that one stash. You could have started looting it and hit the prone key, and then your player would have prone. Gotcha. So it just gives you like, like okay, here's an example, right? So like, if I wanted to loot this, right? I can start this loot animation. Like I'm looting that jacket right now. Yep. From like inside of here. There's some duct tape in that right coat. Yeah, I got nothing. I got no space. <laughs> um, no space. You're wearing a Tarzan. All right. Well, search that blue one. If it has a key, then yeah, no nothing. Should be good. There's no key then. Don't worry too much about it. Pliers and duct tape. Yeah, we'll just go. Right, let's go. We just need to see if we can find you a backpack. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I'm playing with Dingle. 
Big the green. Pasta. So this one kind of like Bell Scab runs. It's like, it's you teaching know, you me how to play in, the you game. Don't I've never have played everything before. I've always wanted to, but I've never been able to. And you know, it just makes you like put you in an uncomfortable position. Cause like I don't, I don't even have meds right now. Like I've, I can stop a heavy bleed, but that's it. If I get a light bleed, I'm screwed. If I get low HP, I'm screwed. A black limb, I'm screwed. Exist. What do you want to know spec wise? Kind of you know like makes PC it specs? harder. But on the flip side, you know, none of this loot costs me anything, so. It's a uh, latest Ryzen with uh, 2080 Ti. With, I think, 32 gigs of memory. 32 or 64, I can't remember what I put in this rig. Anyway, so off to our left, this is uh, called Suicide Field. Don't ever run through it. Okay. It, it's called that for a reason. So we're rolling up on Cottage right now. So Cottage ha is locked, and then there's an unlocked building right next to it that's okay. Yeah, it's the latest um, Ryzen 9 rig. So yeah, there's a lot of scab spawns, so hopefully there's a scab over here that we can... Execute? Just, um, loot and get you a backpack. <laughs> Alright. You can go on inside of there. Just gonna take a peek around the building, see if I can find a scout. Okay. Bag had nothing in it, by the way. Okay, so this is the unlocked building that we're at right now. Crackers and energy drink and cigarettes. There is dead guy in here. Dead guy in here. It's clear. Okay. Shotgun ammo. I need shotgun ammo too. What am I dropping here? What am I dropping? Um, an MP153. That's a pretty decent shotgun, actually. You have that ADAR, and what's your other weapon you have? Uh, a Saiga. A Saiga? Ooh. Um. Mm. It doesn't matter. They're honestly both about equal. Okay. I just need to dump. I want to take this 12 gauge ammo because I got nothing. Hello? Is someone here? Thanks for the follow, bud. I'm just trying to make some friends. Right, I'm leaving this 12 gauge ammo. I don't want to screw that. You checked upstairs already? Yeah, everything's looted. Alright, cool. Hey, Jamie. Thanks for the follow, by the way, guys. I didn't see who it was off the top of my head. Oh, it was Jamie hosting me? Huh. Thanks for the host, Jamie. So I got the map up over top of my... Uh... Man, we are not having any luck with the backpack. Okay, so what's your extracts? As scabs, we, we may have different extracts. Uh, road to custom, south fence passage. Okay. Um... So we're going to take your road to customs extract. Okay. I don't have road to customs. Yeah, going well. we, we don't share an extract. There's always a chance that we can share an extract, but we don't. I'm learning. Uh, mine One is administrator time, building. So, um, you... <laughs> Still the soldier boy. You! <laughs> um, <laughs> no, uh, you don't really have anything, like, crazy good. So we're what we're going to do is we're going to go up to resort. And we're going to clean up and maybe see if we can find you a backpack. Yeah, no problem. I, the like I said, the, the goal for me, honestly, Dingle is just to get out with some a couple of guns today, so that. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, we can we can head let's on. Let's go. No, I, I'm not, let's let's, uh, let's we go. We got up time, here man. First. Let's give her. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's, let's shoot some things. Let's. Uh, this is um, bus depot. So there may be some scabs here or some dead scabs. Okay. Just for a backpack. I mean, we don't necessarily need to have like 
you know, some super juice scav or some guy, yeah, yeah. you know. Like, we just need to, we just need something. Yeah, and, and like I said, don't worry about, like I said, my goal is to get out with a gun or two today, but it's not the There's end of the world. There's a with the backpack. It's not, there's a... Okay, I got something here. There's uh, another scav over here. He has a better rig than you have, so. Better rig than I've got on? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? There we go. So yeah, just take everything in your rig and just drag it over to that rig. You also don't have to drag it to like an exact spot. You can just drag it like over the picture of the rig gotcha. and it'll automatically put it in that rig. Gotcha. And my allergy have been bugging me. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! I'm doing all the wrong things. Discard. I don't want you. I want you. I choose you. What's he got? Is that a gun on the ground? What gun you got? Uh, his gun's pretty trash. Is it better than the Saiga? Cy no. No, nope, stick with the Saiga. Done. Yeah. I assume you're in the building so, here? Yeah, I am. Here, take this. What's with the hose? That looks painful. What, you don't like hose? I mean... Here. <laughs> <laughs> take that, too. <laughs> so that's a, it's what's called a Helix. Um, the Helix is uh, pretty good for... It's, it's used for a craft. I actually do the craft myself um, for M61, which is one of the best bullets in the game. Okay. Um, you trade three red gunpowders and one of those helixes, and it gives you 120 rounds of it. Okay. Which is like one of the reasons you level up that hideout, right? So like that's on my workbench, but I need workbench level three in order to do that craft. Okay. Got it. So yeah, we'll go up here. Up Honestly, there's probably you're going not back to school, or that you're there back be, in school. But 17 minutes left into the raid. I doubt it. You think everyone's extracted? Uh, yeah. There's no PMCs left here. I mean, there there's always that chance, but it's astronomically low. Oh, oh, oh! Take both of these. Those are both really good items. That's fat. I'll look at it in a second. Yeah, it's green gunpowder, which is used in a craft, and um, okay. uh, metal cutting scissors, which are also used in a craft. It's used in a craft for uh, mag boxes. Wow, is this all unlooted? So two of these doors spawn locked and closed, which they're still locked and closed. Where are you at, down the end? Yep, down here, down the hall. Now, is the loot in here? Is this something that uh, this there. has been looted? Because see, that doesn't spawn on the floor like that. So somebody's found something on this shelf and dropped something to pick it up. Um, seeing that they had wiper in the first place, it's probably a scav or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. Okay. We're gonna keep making our way up here. I'm with you, I'm with you. So over here is um a bunch of locked rooms but some people will like open these here like loot these uh cases right here maybe some grenades in them so some people will, like loot these but they'll open the entire room only to loot like one thing in the room what case are these here so this has been opened already yeah that was me I just opened it. so we're gonna keep it moving we only have 15 minutes so yeah, this is, these are all empty, FYI. So this room spawns locked, it's still locked. This room spawns locked, it's still locked. So usually all this is picked bone dry by the time we're here. Okay. So where we're going now, this is called 301. This is the, um, like, uh, this is probably the second best room on this entire map. Dingle, you're supposed to tell me there's a hole in the floor. 
Yeah. Wow. 301 is not looted. So this is like the second best room in the map. But unfortunately, it's still locked. Um, <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, where um, where we're scabs, I don't have my keys on me. So yeah, yeah, I'm just, I just Unlucky. kicked the door. <laughs> like, like there's yeah, Ledex spawns in there, which Ledexes are like one of the best items in the game. Okay. Okay, so we are going to check the basement, and then we're going to go to the administrator office, and then we are leaving. So down here spawns the most valuable item in the game. And it spawns on this shelf right here. It's called red key card. It's like 80 mil. So you're instantly rich if you find it. So like this um, one here? <laughs> oh, lol. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that one there. It's a uh, plex. Take this. Could you imagine? Yeah. So the only... My friend, he got the no game, space. played it for like a week, found it in a week, and then stopped playing the game. And it made me want to cry. Really? I can't yeah. pick this plex up. What can I drop? Uh, let's drop wires. What do I drop? Mm. Bandage, nippers. Bandage. Bombage. Discard. Okay, so, so, um, let's go. I'm gonna check in a bag here, okay? Oh, okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Um. Okay, go. Take and put that on. Okay, I have, I have headgear on already. No, I don't. I have a fleece. What are you wearing? I have a fleece. Yeah, take that off. Put that, you shonk on. Okay. And then take that sight that's on the ground right there. Uh, hard to see. There it is. Okay. Um, and then you're going to drop your Sega and take that. No, and do you have oh. any mags for the Sega? Um... Yes, I think I do. SB5s? Yeah. Okay, so you're just going to... I can't pick up um, that site. I gotta drop something. Hold on. I'm gonna drop uh, some of this, this ammo. Drop here. one of those mags for the Sega. But I only have one, so... Okay, I got oh no, this. you're gonna take this. Draw, so drop that mag for the Sega. And you're gonna take this ammo back. The some of the better ammo in the game. SB5, discard. Where's that ammo at? It's right there at your feet. Okay. It's all so dark. Yeah, it's very, very small and tiny. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> um, and now pick up that Mosin. Put it in your weapon slot. All right. Now I'm going to take you to your extract. Um, okay. And I'm not going to have time to take you to your extract and leave, so I'm just giving you all my stuff. So, I don't need it. so this is... We're going to go to administrator office. So, wait, you can't get out of my extract? Nope, we have different extracts for hey. scavs. As PMCs, we're always going to have the same extract, but as scavs, we don't. That sucks. Yeah. I don't really care, to be honest. I don't need any loot. So right here on this tray uh -huh. spawn is a med medical spawn, which can spawn Ledexes, which is like one of the most expensive items in the game. Okay. All right, we're leaving now. Let's go. Run, Forest. So we have to go to Road to Customs. Um, Road to Customs is one of the two main extracts. So as a PMC, you have like three main extracts, I guess, right? Okay. You have Tunnel, you have Road to Customs, and then you have uh, Rock Passage. Rock Passage is the one that's like right up from us that we talked about the green smoke. Yep. Um, so if you spawn on the Road to Customs side of the map, like uh, on the road to customs hat because the map is split into sides right by that yep. middle divider yep. if you spawn on the road to customs side of the map you're always 100 percent of the time going to have tunnel as your extract and if you spawn on the tunnel side of the map you're always 100 percent of the time going to have road to customs and then everybody may have rock passage rock passage is that maybe extract but as a scav you just got lucky to have road to customs We're gonna have plenty of time to get to your extract, so we'll be just fine.
One of the things I kind of like about this game is like every um, engagement means a lot, right? Because we kind of ran around this, you know, we, we've seen some people at the beginning of the raid and now it's kind of slow. Yep. So like, you know, it's not like Call of Duty where you just load in, like you look to your left, you see somebody, you look to your right, you see somebody. So like during the and you know, whenever you actually do see somebody and you kill them, you're rewarded like heavily most of the time. Yeah. What so. uh, what gun? So if you have your choice of a good economical, you, you, the wipe just happened. You're just getting your funds going, you know, kind of a situation. What uh, what rifle are you buying first? Just that SKS? SKS. Yep. Yeah, I buy I buy SKS for like the first like 15 rounds. I mean, and then whenever you for like for like my first 15 levels, I'm usually just running SKS over and over and over and over because it's really cheap. Um, or especially early wipe like this at this point in the wipe the PS ammo is pretty ineffective, but Like PS it's bad ammo, right? Like it's on like the lower half of that caliber yeah. But it's you know a 762 by 39 round so it's still a big caliber So it's gonna do damage to you know people not wearing great armor. Yeah um, And then after that whenever I'm starting to move up from SKS I start to move up to the AKM and the AKMN which shoot the same round, so you're shooting that 7.62 PS. Yep. Um, but it has a fully automatic option, and you can put 30 rounders in it for pretty cheap. So it's gonna have a lot of recoil still because it's you know pretty trash. You know you're not gonna have it like decked out. Yep. But you know at close range your recoil doesn't have to be very good. If you're right in front of me, it doesn't matter. My gun has 20 recoil. Oh, there's a dead, dead body here. Okay, so you're just gonna extract right here. I may actually be able to run it to um I'm out. An X oh. by the way is is for me to lay down. Not said. Okay. Gotcha. Not that you need to know that, but just oh yeah, we were asking about it earlier. Ugh. So that it's wasn't too bad. Survived says. again. I actually killed a couple scabs, which is a first. I got some... Honestly, I'm just going to leave the raid. I don't care about that loot. I got some some lead on some heads, which is clicks on the heads, as Andy says, which is nice. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I learned something. Dingle's doing a good job of explaining stuff to me. I am still lost as all get out, but, you know, we're getting there bit by bit. Um, thank you for everyone that's uh, that's subbed and whatnot today so far. Appreciate everybody's support. All right, so we got a Mosin of that. We got an ADAR. Socket, get rid of that. Take that off. Bam, 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 bam. So I'm going to, I am at some point here going to run out of space. Am I not? In my little stash, my diggy doo? Yeah, see, I'm getting full here. ADAR. All right, risk. I just uh, left the raid, so I'm. Um, oh, okay. No worries. I was gonna spend a minute just going through my my horrible looking stash because um, it's looking pretty sketchy. Adar, Adar, Adar. So I've got. Okay, let's let's teach me how to sell stuff now. So I got a bunch of crap in my stash that I can't use, or teach me how to use this stuff to. Do my um, what's it called? Your hideout. My hideout. Yes. Um, if I can. Uh, see, you're at a tough position right now. This is why like EOD is worth it if you play the game a lot. Don't go and spend extra money if you're not gonna like put a bunch of time into the game. Yeah. But yeah, if you yeah. really, really enjoy the game, EOD is definitely worth it because you get extra stash space, um, off the go. Let me let me pull up your That's stream right, yeah, really yeah. quick. Yeah, no worries. What do you, um, you want to look at my st at the stash? And I'll or what take a look and we'll see what you can get rid of. You, so you just want me to have my stash up? Um, yeah, just keep it up. Um, okay, so go to therapist. Oh, you had to. You have to transfer stuff. Risk. After your scav run. So everything you didn't transfer off of your person, you just lost. But it's okay, because it's not like a ton of stuff, but... Uh, well, I, I I did transfer everything out of my... 
Yeah, you just didn't transfer the Eidor and stuff, which is okay. It's it's all right. I mean, that's not like making the, or breaking you. But the just four for things on reference. that, the four things in the little backpack. You mean? Uh, like everything that was still on your player when you went through that menu, you lost. In a PMC raid, you can literally just leave it on your player and alt F for your game, and it'll be there tomorrow. But on a scav, you have to take it off your scav and put it in your stash all after right, well, the that's, raid. That's a good no, because <laughs> I yeah, kind of kind of late to tell you, that. but. Yeah, so I don't even know what I... Yeah, it would have been... That sucks. So that is, does that include the guns and stuff that I had on me? Yep. Um. So, yeah, go to Therapist. Poop. Okay, so you're going to go to the Sell tab, and I'll just, like, tell you everything that you can sell. All right. Gold chain. Yep, so gold chain. You see all those bandages and uh, splints These running are... down the left-hand side? Yep. Sell all those. Because that's the kind of stuff, like, you can just buy it again if you need it. But sure. the stash space is more valuable than the current item. Uh, the key, you can sell. Um, that RC battery, that's like 10K, you can sell. This here? Uh, this the small battery, battery under it. Um, that purple stem and the red stem on the far right, you can sell. This purple? And the uh, yep, and then the red stem underneath of it. Okay. Uh, you can sell a WD-40. WD-40. The key, too. Yeah, you can sell a key you were hovering over. Key this battery, too. Uh, sure. keep the battery. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, sell that battery. Keep the big battery though, because you need to turn that in for a quest. Okay, where's the W? Um, and the fuel conditioner on the far right it was like thirty something k. Okay, there's. You said something with this RAM. What am I doing with the RAM? Uh, just hang on to that. That sells for a ton on the flea market. Okay. So yeah, sell fuel conditioner. Um, you can sell that Plex. That's the black stuff. Yep. Plexiglass. Yep. Mm, and that should be it. So yeah, you're good to just go ahead and hit deal. Okay. Done. Oh, Only and um, risk. there's Thanks, that Andy. green battery. You could sell that, too. And there was something else down there, like the nippers. You could sell those nippers. Uh, 13,000? Uh, no, the nippers underneath of it to the left. So you can you can uh, control right-click those uh, metal cutting scissors um, back into your inventory, by the way, if you ever do that again. Okay, control right-click. Um, so, yeah, um... You should be good to just go ahead and sell. Okay. Um, and then you're going to go to Ragman next. Ragman buys like armor that's in good condition and uh, clothes and stuff. Um, so you're gonna sell both of the helmets that are in your inventory. Keep keep that armor. Uh, yeah, and sell both of the helmets that are in your inventory. Okay. Yep. Now go to mechanic. Oh yeah, and you can sell like any like articles of clothing you can sell. So like glasses, masks, stuff like that. Just get them gone. You don't you you need the space, you know? Yep. Um so mechanic, you're going to sell um there's a couple trash mags down there uh, right above the Mosin. You can sell both of those. This these here. Yep. Um, there's also another trash mag like down bottom right of the Mosin. And then that site that I gave you last raid, you could sell that too. Yep. Cool. All right, gamer, you are good to go. And there is a ton to take in for this stupid game. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That, that's kind of one of the things, though, that's easy. fun about it, right? Is it's not like you just play it for, like, a day, and then you know everything. Yeah, yeah It kind of, yeah. you know, keeps it, like, refreshing because you're constantly learning. Whew. Um, Yeah, so... um, Done, man. Uh, that, that's just about everything I would... Oh, you could sell that uh that flashlight, too, if you want to sell it. But other than that, that's, that's about everything. Okay. Well, might as well. We're here. So you have 630K. That's actually quite a bit. Um... That mag box that mechanic has for sale, I think that's a barter, right? Mag box. This here? 
the ammo case? Yeah. Like, click on it and see what it costs to buy it. You're right, you'll have to go to the buy tab. Oops. I think that's a barter, if I'm not mistaken. What's a barter? So it means that instead of just things? buying it, yeah, he okay, yeah, that's a barter. So you'll just uh, you'll just buy it whenever you get a get an um, the flea market unlocked because you can buy those for like 130k, and it's it's worth more for you to sell the gunpowder and just purchase it than it would be for you to do the barter. Oh, okay. Because those gunpowders are like 80k a piece. Gotcha. So all right, we're good to go. PMC runtime. Let's go. The one thing I do want to check, Risk. <laughs> Yeah. Um, let me pull back up your stream. Because Scarlet said she didn't think your gun had a mag in it. Well, I'm running an SKS. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it does have a mag in it. Um, Go to your... Okay, so open up the SKS and take the mag out of it. Because I'll just bring you a mag. Expect. How do I open it? Um, Just take the mag and just drag it off. Like into your inventory somewhere. Yep. You also drag that round of ammo off as well. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to bring you a magazine that's going to have some bullets already in it, and then I'll bring you some spare am ammo as well. So I'm leaving this PS ammo here? Yeah, I'm bringing you ammo. Okay. And bring hemostat in the side you said. My compass is always on me. Headset. Anything else I want to bring? Just... Um yeah, hemostat and a sway are the two main things. Yep, done. All right. PMC next. Shoreline. 9 a.m.? Yes, sir. I'm going to bring you a snack as well. Because your metabolism the is kind of... Sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say the SKS is what I'm bringing, right? Yeah. So um, your metabolism is pretty low, and the only way you can level it is to eat and drink inside of the raid. Eating and drinking in your stash won't increase your metabolism. Okay. So, like, metabolism affects, like, how hungry and thirsty your player gets, like, how often he does. Mm -hmm. So, like, me, with how, how my metabolism is, I could probably do, like, ten raids in a row without having to eat or drink. Uh, but okay. you, like, you may barely make it through one raid without having to eat or drink. Did you accept my invitation? I don't see one yet. Uh, you didn't get that? I do not have anything from you, no. Let me re-invite you. Yep. I may have to restart my game. Did you get the invite? Mm, nope. Okay. Let me restart my game. Yep. They released a patch um, like two weeks ago, and it's kind of messed up the lobbies a little bit. Okay. How do I, like, is there a way to look at your friends list that I can just have it up and... Mm, no. Your friends will always appear at the top, though. Yeah, it doesn't show you anywhere. Like, there's a, a group of names with crowns and yellow. But uh, you're not in there anywhere. So you actually bought a pack, like a battle pass type of thing. A battle pass for this game. I'm I'm using terminology from another game. Well, I bought I bought um, Edge of Darkness edition, which is like you buy it one time. It, you don't have to like buy, rebuy it over and, and over. And every wipe, you get the you get a pack. No, I get so every wipe. Um, I start off with a little bit more gear than you do. Yeah. Um, I start off with a gamma container, which is twice the size of your container. Mm -hmm. Um. And I start off with max level stash. So my stash is bigger than yours. It's like twice the size. It is you kind you of wish. pay to win, but it does not take like much to um to like actually earn that stuff yourself. So it is pay to win, but it's it's not much pay to win. Gotcha. Um I reinvited you. Um the main thing that you get with Edge of Darkness. Am I like did you get the, the invite? No, am I like on the wrong No, you're screen? you're in here. Hit back and then hit next again. It says I'm loading files now. Oh, you hit you hit next or ready or whatever. Just hit back. Done. Um, so with Edge of Darkness as well, they're gonna release um some DLCs like that you have to pay for. Yeah. And if you have uh Edge of Darkness edition, you get all the DLCs, all the future DLCs for free. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll look at it. 
I spend a bit of time on this. And the nice thing is I, I, I think I can find time to, to try this at home once in a while. Trying to oh, yeah. be more intentional with my downtime, trying not to fill my life with as much crap as I normally have. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. It's always good to just have something to escape. <laughs> yeah. Just so relax a little bit. No play on where it's escape driver. PMC. Next. Shoreline. Morning. Next. 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 Gamer, gamer TV. I see. I'm about you. There, now what? Oh, you kitted out, bro. You said I am? You are. Holy crap. I usually am, like every raid. Mm. So let's Sometimes answer the question now. Mold. How do I switch sites? So when I have a, a site with a red dot on top, like a 3X with a red uh, dot on top. I think default is control right click. Or left control right, right click. click. Yeah, it looks like control. Uh, yeah. It actually just showed it on my screen. Looks like left See, control. See, so like mine is... um. Like, I, I recommend rebinding those personally because part of the, the reason that I recommend rebinding them is, like, while you're ads if I wanted to switch from one site to another while I'm ads it's impossible with uh, the default bindings. Gotcha. I have mouse so, like, mine on. is, um, I click my scroll wheel, and me clicking my scroll wheel switches, like, between if I were to have, like, a, um, like, on the gun I have right now, I have, like, a sniper scope with a red dot mounted on top of it. Yep. That's how I switch between my sniper scope and the red dot. Gotcha. And then I have another, it's one of my DPI buttons on my mouse that I rebound. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it toggles the um, the actual side itself. So like if I'm inside of the sniper scope and it's like variable zoom, it switches between the zoom levels. Gotcha. Yeah, I think that's so what So there's I'll actually do two to, two buttons for it. After this run, I'll, uh, I'll bind my mouse keys because right now they do nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. The default bindings in this game suck, in my opinion. Yeah, you're not the first person to say that. I mean, I understand why they suck, but it's because they have, like, a billion key binds in this game. Yeah. I've just unbound some of the useless key binds. Like what? Um, Like, have you ever pressed Alt and, like, your player's, like, gun does something weird? Yeah, it like it wants yeah. to shoot over a fence. Yeah, so like I've just unbound all those because honestly they're just not very good. Like it's, I don't you know, I mean it's a cool it. idea, but it just like doesn't work very well. Like the amount of times that you're gonna kill somebody using that is like pretty much none. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Like you even watch like people like Landmark who have you know probably twenty thousand hours in this game and they don't even use it. The only time they use it is when they're just trolling people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For those of you that are hanging around and lurking on the uh, on the stream, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <coughs> it's been. Uh, it almost feels like my first day on a job. You so know, the next uh, good spawn that we get, we'll go resort. Which is like the big boy area. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not worried about dying. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. Resort. It's very like most of the people you're, you find two extremes of people going there. It's either people like me who are just geared to the teeth or you find like hatchet runners and pistolings. Yeah. Yeah. They're hoping to get in and get out with a piece of gear and. Yep. Yeah, they go in with absolutely nothing, and they loot stuff and put it in their, you know, container, and yeah. then they don't care to die. <clears throat> yeah. It honestly kind of ruins the game. Containers bit. soon. Yeah. I should just go you buy can, one. Um, you can grind out. Yeah, you can't. You you could buy them with real money. You could because you could buy like the upgraded editions of the game. Yeah. But you can if you just do the quest line. Uh, there's a quest line called the Punisher. And it gives you what's called an Epsilon container. Oh, I'm inside of a house. Um, which is, it's one slot under the Gamma container, which is the one I have. So, you can get that pretty quick if you do the quest line. Mm -hmm. And by pretty quick, I mean like in a couple weeks. So let's, after this run, if you have time, how long you got till, Dingle? Nah, I'm good all day. Oh, okay. 
I'm probably going to run to about 2.30, 2.45, somewhere in that range. If that's cool yeah, that's cool. Um, that way you can get Here, to actually pick this. doing real stuff. So there's a mag in there and some ammo. That's that's all you. What I'm going to do is... Did you take it? Yep. Okay, you got it on? Okay. Load your gun. We're going to get on top of this hill. Yep, that's me. So on this side of the map, this is the road to custom side. There's like a million spawns over here. And um, people are going to be rotating towards resort, but they're going to have to go through us. Gotcha. So we're going to sit up on this hill. We got the high ground, and we're going to wait and see if anybody comes in. If somebody starts running through that field and I see them, they're dead. They're, they're not going to survive that. All right. So you want me to watch the back while you watch the front then? or Just, just keep an eye out. Right. See anybody just start screaming. Will do. Somebody's to the left of me. I'm dead. I'm getting shot at. He seen me first. Uh, he's under, like pretty much where we came up. He's he's pretty heavily geared. You may just bait my body if he doesn't know you're there. Where'd you die? Uh, pretty much right next to you. He's not like crazy geared. Sherpa down, Sherpa down. Yeah, I gotta try and find you. I didn't see exactly where you went down. Kind of went down more to your left. He's just gonna rush up there and try to loot my body, so you may just bait him. Is that you right there in front of me there? Uh, maybe. There's a dead guy next to you. Dead guy next to me? Well, I mean, I'm dead, so. There's no dead guy next to me. There's a dead guy in front of me. Okay, then that's, yeah, it's probably enough. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Tried to come around. You got poop. Are you dead? Yeah. Yeah, that's the advantage of seeing somebody first in this game. Honestly, that guy had a really good shot. Like, can't can't do much about that. As yeah. soon as he started shooting, he had shot me his first shot. So yeah, had quite a bit of gear on. You know, okay. what are you gonna do? You had quite a bit of gear on that man too. Looting experience. Yeah, he wasn't running the world's best ammo, but it was good enough to go through my face shield. So I'm at the so let's do the the current health condition screen here now. How do I put my health back? Do I hit apply? Uh yeah. It costs you money to heal, but yeah, yeah. uh you just just pay it. Yep. No worries. Yeah, for some reason, um I forgot the SKS is semi automatic, so I pushed the button. And uh, yeah, I heard <laughs> bang, yeah. and that was it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for some reason, my mind defaults to uh, fully automatic. Um, do you want to try like a really good gun this road? Yeah, sure. Why not? Bring you one in. Yeah, sure. Why not? I wouldn't. You have any really preference super for gun you'd good, like to try? <laughs> um, yeah, M16 type. Something I feel. M16. Okay. Like whatever, I don't know whatever. Uh, um, even an SK, not another SKS, but like um, AK type variant. I'm okay. Calm, with. Calm. 
whatever. Mm. I wouldn't mind something that's... I will bring you... You said M16 first, so I'll bring you the closest thing to an M16 in this game, and it's an 8 or. Okay. So that's the thing that I've... It's not... You've used it, but you've not used, like... You've used a um, trash 8 or. Gotcha. This is, like, on another level. Gotcha. What's up, Silo? How are you, buddy? Thanks for popping in. Andy's still lurking. Thank you for the lurk there, Andy Man. All right, so what am I doing here? So my character, 77 is hydration, 95 energy. So yeah, I would probably drink a little bit of water. Like right now? Yeah. Or bring it in. You could drink it at the beginning of the raid. Level your metabolism. I need a rig or a crappy backpack to bring in. Um, got a backpack. We're good. So yeah, the ADOR is uh, semi-automatic. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. I'll bring you meds too, because you don't have a lot of like good meds. All right. Doing PMC in? Yep, I've got your I've got you a uh, armored rig. I've got you a um an ADAR mags and some heals. Okay. I got a little bit of heal stuff on me. Yeah, Silo. It's been it's been interesting. I'm not going to lie. It's it, it is this game is a bit overwhelming to say the least, but it's Bit by bit. I mean, I learn something new each each raid. Right? All right. I'm back in queue. All right. Yeah, I'm here too, waiting. Got him. There you are. You are invited. Thank you. So, yeah, it's just uh, basically an 8R is just a semi-automatic M4. Right. So, in this game, I can take uh, the 8Rs, um, the actual, like, 8R, I guess it would be the receiver. And um, I can just change it out with an M4 receiver, and it would change the gun from an 8R to an M4. So that's like how interchangeable it is. Like every part that fits on an 8R will fit an M4. Gotcha. Okay. It just determines if the gun is fully automatic or not. All right. So this side I'm bringing you in, it's a one or a, it's either four or six times. Okay. Um, but you can toggle between it. So that's the control right click again, I think. So mm -hmm. do you have to be zooming down, looking down the sights to toggle between the two? Um, with default, I'm honestly not sure. Okay. I'll try. I'll figure it out. I'll play with it. I well, oh, it canceled our queue. Oh, hit back. Oh, hit back. Yeah. Done. It kicked me out of queue. Done. Yeah, Silo. Not gonna lie, it's it's a it's a complex game. Um, it, the challenge is trying to. Mm. Uh, the challenge is trying to focus on the game. I think if somebody is queuing on like the same servers and they get banned for cheating while we're queuing, it just cancels everyone who's queuing at that time. Gotcha. Yeah, the problem is focusing on the game. I think that's what the map and everything that everything that has to happen. The Let me know when you're stuff back you're in picking queue. up the blah blah blah. Yeah, we'll do. Um, and but then also trying to think about the combat side of things. PMC next shoreline afternoon next. I'm coming in naked, just a knife at this point, FYI. Okay. So and I'm here. That's fine. Can, I see you there. Yep, got you. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's literally this is literally my zero hour training. First time in the game, first real runs with somebody who knows what the hell they're doing that can talk me through stuff. So Yeah, the one thing that at least you have an upper hand on as a new player is knowing how, like, guns and gun attachments and stuff work. Yeah, and I will say that's um, that's probably a, a big advantage, knowing the different types of weapons and understanding calibers and, and that kind yeah. of stuff. So, I mean, um, I do, it frustrates me to watch. And building the guns. 
when like, I watch Air Max and he's trying to put guns together, and I'm like, Air Max, that doesn't go. Like, I wonder yeah. why this part won't fit because it's for a completely different gun. Yeah, and you need like you know, like people will try to be like, oh, why can't I just like put this grip on this gun? Yeah, it's because like you need to put a mount on the you know, yeah, hand they guard. Just, they just don't know. My buddy um, owns a, a outdoor equipment company called UGQ Outdoor. They make like super duper high end um, outdoor gear, like camping, uh, sleeping bags, and all that kind of stuff. And they stuff into the sides of a, a grapefruit. They're just they're awesome, and they're ranked number one in the world. As a matter of fact, Andy, if you're still here, it's pretty cool actually. Yeah, it's freaking amazing. Um, uh, his UK is blowing up right now because he's really involved with a lot of um, YouTubers and stuff. You can actually mm -hmm. go on their website now. They just inst he just texted me. That's what made me think of it. Um, they just inspected in <laughs> installed live um, UGQ Andy. They just installed live cameras into their um, their brand new facility they just built. Looks freaking amazing. Mm. So I gotta. I gotta test them. Oh, by the way, Risk, I don't think I've told you this, but um this game, like all the maps one day, it's gonna be seamless. Like you're gonna be able to just walk from one map to another. Yeah. UGQ, Andy. And it's it's all like uh sleeping bags and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's blowing up in the UK right now. Um I think he's got lists of some of Risk, the YouTube you're Eastern, stuff. aren't you? Eastern time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What are you? I'm Eastern. Yeah, I figured you were. I thought I was making sure. Did you said what time? Uh, about another hour and fifteen at least. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in a rush today. I've again, I'm just gotta meet my buddy at the gym for three thirty. That's my only. I'm gonna introduce him to uh, a new type of working out today, and he's gonna cry like a little girl. I'm absolutely going to punish him in the gym. Dude, I I got back to uh, working out my legs. Yeah. Um, and, oh, my God. Dude, if you're not consistent, so that is a, yeah. it's a painful game to play. Yeah, yeah I did some squats. <laughs> and I stretched out. I did some squats. And then... It's not the next like, day. I was like... Two days later. Before, before I even, like, got to the point of sitting down, yeah. like, I could already feel it, you know, like, the leg muscles just giving out. <laughs> Yeah. And then I was like, dang, I'm going to take a seat. I sit down and then just instant, like, <laughs> leg cramp city. Yeah, and usually if you, if you went really hard um, and did your leg routine properly, because it's one of the large muscle groups you can just punish. It's like your back. You can just pile weight on, and um, it's, it doesn't, it's not bad. Um, it's, this, it's not the day after. It's the second day after where it just, that's when you can't get up out of the chair. That's when... You know, um, okay. I need a gun. Oh, yeah. Honestly, the second day was the worst for me. Typically, it is, like you said, though, that um, the day after the second day, or the second day itself, yeah. Yeah, the day after is what really killed me. So, yeah, that is a really, really good 8-or that you have right now. Okay. That's like a meta 8-or. It has really high ergonomics, which means that it ADS is like insanely fast. Okay. I'm just inspecting everything just so I have it. Yep. You're good. Like, like, inspecting things gives you XP as well. If you find some free time, you can go through the traders and inspect everything, and it actually gives you like two levels worth of XP. Okay. All right. Ready to roll. We are going to go left. So this is um, one of the best spawns for resort. But it's probably not the best idea to take like a semi-automatic gun into resort. Hey, Bachi, what's up? So we're going to rush around this left side. Bachi, put extra bullets in your alpha. Explain that to me. Yeah, I'm telling you, Andy. Like, his like gear is freaking well, crazy so good. He... um. He has some like massive YouTubers that use their gear, like 1.2 million subs and all that kind of jazz. Okay, we'll do Bachi. Um, Bachi's talking about where'd you go? I lost you. 
Where'd you go? I lost you. Um, I'm up here at the house, right okay. above you. Okay. Gotcha. Um, Everything's great. Everything. Bachi's saying to awesome. um, put extra bullets in my alpha. What's he talking about? Yeah, put the uh, ammo in your secure container. Okay, done. I assume just because it's really expensive ammo. Yeah, that ammo is one of the best rounds in the game. Gotcha. Nice heads up, Bachi. Thank you. What am I doing? I'm just sitting up here with you, so. Oh, I am um, I ran down the hill. Sorry. Just come down the hill. Yep, I am. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> you look funny going down the hill. You're like super trooping it down the hill. Nappy, what's up? Look at this chat. See, I was wish, doing guy. Like that wiggle thing when I was running. Yeah. Yeah. Here, well, you'll you'll see it again whenever I do it. Like, we'll, we'll just run here. I've just been keeping. I'm, I'm just like getting up on the rocks to see because there's a lot of people that rotate around through here. So. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. having you, you're you're military. You know how about the high ground. So you see how like I'm like turning my body back and forth. Yeah. I'm just spamming A and B as I'm running. So it's pretty good because if somebody's like in front of me or behind me and they're trying to hit me, it's going to be a little bit harder. A little bit harder, yeah, yeah. Doesn't help much, but, you know, yeah. why not? But he actually did tell me about that before. I just hadn't do it yet. It's the Haven't little thing. Anything, so. Grammar works good. Okay, so there's a lot of people that are going to be like pushing in towards resort right now. First chance again. And uh, what we're doing is we're kind of coming up behind them. Most people aren't going to push to the side of the map. They're going to push to the center. So we're just pushing up the side because there's people that have spawned in front of us and they probably rotated more in. Okay. So we're making our way to uh, stash right now, but um, it's mainly just to try to catch some players off guard. Okay. There very well could be a player up here, so. Yeah, no, I, I agree. This I, That's what I was saying earlier. There's so freaking much, Bocce, to, to get. Nappy, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for the uh, sub, buddy. 21 freaking months. You're right. You are, like, if not up there, my number one. You're, like, my number two, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that big hill that's across from us, um, 220, is the um, where we died last time. That's okay. that's uh, called Weather Station. I don't know what the default compass is. Mine is V. But you can pull it out and it'll, um, it'll like, give you direction down at the bottom right-hand corner. All right, give me a sec. Let me see if I can figure this out here. Good time, dude. <clears throat> this is why this is why I think this map is good for new players is like in customs there's not too many places like people say customs a lot of people say customs is the best map for new players but there's not a lot of places that you can just be like all right you know give me a second so I can figure this out yeah, yeah. here if you're pretty much anywhere but resort you have like you know you kind of take your time to figure stuff out all right where are we going all right so there's a stash up here we're gonna loot or you're gonna loot right here I got it I gotta learn to crouch as I do this. Kill your PMC. Scared the hell I'm flanking me. around. I'm in the middle of. Oh, Run! I just pulled my okay, knife out. Good job. Go. I thought I heard someone. I think he's a solo. Tape and AFG glass. A AF glass. Uh, goggles. Uh, those aren't good. I'm just going to equip them anyways. I thought I heard somebody uh, snooping around. Where was he? All right, we're going to go loot this guy. All right, let's go. I don't know how looted he was or how geared he was. He rolled all the way down here, this bush. You can just prone out in this bush right here. And I'll cover you. Yeah. Ooh. What do you have? I'll let you know in a minute. The only thing I want off of his body is the dog tag. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Uh, MDR. Always, always want MDR? Ooh, that's a good gun. 
Is it the 308 or is it the 556? 556. Okay, so, I mean, it's still a pretty good gun. It, that MDR is basically an M4 that and just an, doesn't shoot as fast. And an AVS. AVS is a good rig. It's zeroed out, though. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I shot it like a million times. Um, so, uh, what kind of backpack did you have? I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. So, I would take his ABS rig and put it into his backpack because the ABS, it, it gives you a lot of storage for how much space it takes up. Yeah. It's a uh, mechanism. Mechanism. So, yeah, I would toss his, uh, toss his ABS inside of that backpack. Okay. I'm just going to pack a mag while you're looting that guy. What the? It just dropped my backpack. What the actual hell, guy? If you don't have anything in your backpack, just drop it. Take a, get it back on insurance. I did. I'm just, so that's what I do. Every single time, I always insurance fraud everything I can. I so like every time I kill a player, the first thing I do is I drop my headphones and I take their headphones. Like even if you don't hide it, you know, Man, like game. just drop it on the ground. You make it back on insurance if you're insuring everything. Yeah, I can't find the backpack. I just dropped his backpack, and now I can't find it in this freaking... It may have rolled down the hill. Yeah, it's it did. inside yeah, it did. of his body. No, it, it rolled down the hill. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, stuff... Gravity is a real thing in this game. Like, I killed that guy, like, all the way up here. Oh, he had and another he was... uh, piece of gear inside of this. Uh, What is that? A 6823. It's a armor. Oh, uh... Let me... 6823? There's a 6P23. Let me search it. So this is brand new. So I'm going to put his... I would uh, take his, his uh, ABS gonna, rig. I am taking his certain. gear, for sure. Yeah. That ABS rig gives you a ton of storage. Yeah, it does. Okay, for how gonna... much it takes up. Good. Yeah. I'm still right up here man, above you. learning all these screens. Holy crap. You're above me? Got you. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. Let's go. Oops. So Welcome we're just back. gonna hit Let some more everybody. stashes. Where you going? I wonder where that guy came from. That's a weird like that was that was a weird push that he did right there. Like I I honestly have no idea where that guy came from. He may he may have late spawned or like spawned in and like been AFK or something back there at Road to Customs. The last two here. So Road to Customs is like where I'm walking towards right now. It's right up at the end of that road. A lot of people, by the way, really like that sight that's on your gun. It's um, it's called a Valde. Have you tried to toggle the zoom on it yet? Yeah, I just did. <clears throat> um, Bachi, how do I switch? I mean, how do I switch again? Yeah, sorry. I'm I'm just I'm asking my audience how do I switch no, from semi oh, to full yeah, auto? I don't, I don't know. Oh, to semi to full auto? You you can't change from semi to full auto on that gun. It's an eight or semi automatic. It's just semi. It's not. Yeah, it's just semi automatic. Okay. Yep. That explains why none of the buttons are working. <laughs> yeah, you just need to know how to toggle your scope. So that's kind of like I use that as like a DMR. It's really good for what we're doing. Sure. Because um. It doesn't have a lot of recoil. It doesn't have a lot of bullet drop. The bullets travel very fast. Where are you? Gotcha. You're good. First, what kind of headphones do you have? Uh, Sennheiser. Um, 
Okay, you have sin housers. Okay. Yeah, they're I don't know, they're two hundred bucks a pair or whatever. I forget what I paid for them. I was I was I was just curious. I ordered some new headphones. Or I'm having new headphones ordered. Yeah, I didn't get. My mom's actually getting them for me for Christmas. They're not really gaming headphones, but. Oh, that's uh, been looted. Huh. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, game on. Interesting. Interesting. Is this it? Search that. Where? I see nothing to search. Hmm. It's uh, in this bush right here. Oh, there it is. The leaves. So somebody's been here. We're probably hot on their trail. Uh, ammo and a lunchbox. What kind of... Uh, eat the lunchbox. Eat everything you find in raid. The lunchbox won't drain your hydration, so you'll be okay to eat it without something to drink. If, you, if you're ever wondering if it's going to drain your hydration, you can always double click on it, and yeah. it'll tell you. Bachi's saying what kind of follow ammo was you it? that we're in a minefield. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Oh, you are... Lagging. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, did you get the ammo? What kind of ammo was it? Uh, SP13. Okay, not very good then. Let's keep moving. Yeah, some ammo we're talking like is like four to five thousand rubles around, <laughs> and then some ammo like you're vendoring for like literally nothing. Gotcha. It just comes with playing the game. So if I had to get have a guess, um, this guy is probably going to be in front of us, um, including down here at CCP, which is where that guy was that killed us that one raid. Yeah, yeah Flip, he did that to me with fence. my loot at the last. I didn't realize probably that if you just hit is. next through the loot screen at the end after you uh, get out of the thing as a scav, you lose everything. <laughs> so I lost all my gear because I didn't. What? Oh, you didn't see it. See what? Look, what am I seeing? You pointing at my head? Oh, you shooting <laughs> me the finger? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this, I'm still so overwhelmed with this game. There's so much to take in. I gotta. Yeah. You know. That's fair. I can't this absorb game is all like, of the all of the isms that you're throwing at me. And this is like what kind of drives people away from the game is there's no tutorial, there's nothing. You're just you, you're dropped in, yeah, no you're playing problem, the game. Have a, have a good time. Have a good dinner. And like man. people, you know, they try to play the game. They don't have people to play it with, or you know, they don't have somebody to help teach them, and then they just never play the game because they don't know how to. Yeah, it makes sense. The game. I always tell I, people. I mean, I'm not gonna game, lie, Dingle. That's that's when I I played those what two or three runs. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe more, five or six, I think. And um, there's dead scabs on here. I got killed four or five out of the six or seven times I played, mm -hmm. and I was like, dude, this is like impossible. How do you even like if if you come in late to a wipe? How do you even begin if all you got is a pistol and you don't yeah. have someone like a Dingleberry McGee to get help get you started? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's where the game ends for a lot of people. This guy is moving quick. We're we're like right behind him. There's dead scabs down here. All these are looted. Like he's mo he's moving. Yeah, I mean we're um, not even hearing anything though. Like we're not hearing gunshots or nothing. Are you yeah. Crossing? Yeah. I'm getting over here. CCP. Are you, are you doing? Oh my here? gosh. Talk to me. This game is so good sometimes. Tell me what you're doing, Jingle. I'm just I'm getting I'm getting over here, getting on this side of the fence. <laughs> we're checking to see if this guy is over here. Gotcha. We're looking for him. We're on the prowl. Cause this guy's taking our loot, and I'm not happy about it. I don't know about you, but <laughs> this guy taking my, my loot. It has me. It has me a little upset. I'm not gonna lie to you, Risk. <laughs> Cause that's my loot. You know, it, I, it practically got my name it. on it. I get it. Let's get our loot back. Oh, I think I've just seen him. Nope. That was a bush that rendered him weird. But, yeah, um, hopefully one day they kind of have more of a tutorial. But I always tell people, this game gets better. The more you play this game, the more fun it is. Because right now you're like, oh, okay, you a T-plug. Or, you know, oh, okay, uh, this ammo. But it's like, it doesn't really mean much to you. Because you, you know, yeah. you don't know, like, how that's going to play, you know, a week down the line or a month down the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I assume you went up over this hill. Um, oh, there you're on the rock. I got you. So what I'm doing right now is really stupid, but you're sh you're I'm kind of really stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything. So we're going to go up to um, Power Flow. Does this my mouth? <laughs> Bachi's like, T-plugs nope. are going to be needed, though, just saying. <laughs> you do have to have them found in raid at some point you have to have one found in raid but honestly like yeah, yeah. they're so easy to find yeah it's yeah, nothing yeah. to worry about now okay like there's certain items that you need found in raid that like when you find them like it would mean nothing to you right now but once you understand the game and you understand how hard it is to find that like specific item and stuff like that you would like poop your pants. yeah when you find it you mean yeah Um, I would imagine he's going to be down here where I'm facing. So that's called tier boat or I call that specific building office. Like when I'm addressing the building itself, but that area down there is pure boat. Like where all the blue fencing and stuff is. Yeah. You, you think that's an where he's at? Down there. I think that's where he's at because there's a, uh, there's a trunk that doesn't spawn open over there. That's open. So is that and a one is, way in one way out type space? Yep. It is. So there's also a scab boss spawn down there. So like a killer type. Yep. Yeah, except he's uh, he's called Sanator on this map, and he's basically a cheater. What do you mean? Like he'll like shoot you through bushes. We're gonna keep moving. Don't worry, Bachi. He'll I'll be picking one up. Bushes. He'll shoot you through fog. Shoot you through trees. Like, Oh yeah. They they they're still balancing him because like, you know, you obviously you can't make him too weak or else it would just be a walk in the park to kill him and take his loot, but yeah. So you know, Pure Boat's one of our extracts right now, by the way. One of our possible extracts. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. may be up. I never go to Pure Boat though to extract. Like literally never. Because so is there a you have to go that? out. Yeah, because you have to go out on a dock that's like in the middle of the open to gotcha. even see if it's open. And then if it is up, you have to sit on the dock. I think it's like a 30 second extract timer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you're just a sitting duck out there forever. Yep. And then if it's not up, you've went down there. I usually try to. Bachi, you realize all this chat you're doing. You're gonna have to spend a there. stream teaching me how to do this. Just because, too, right? like you said, one way in, one way out. So doesn't really add up too well if somebody knows you're there. Yeah. Maybe someone on the cell phone. Be the drink. Nappy, how you doing today, buddy? So we're at power station. This is like dead center of the map. There's sometimes a sniper scab that will spawn on the roof. It doesn't, it either looks like he's dead or he's not up. Whoa, did you shoot? Nope, wasn't me. Did you shoot? No, was not me. Oh, he's he's fighting a scab. He is inside. I was gonna say, I think we found that guy. That guy's inside of the building. Is that you that was just shooting or no? Yeah, I just shot. Um, he's inside of a building. I'm just trying to see if I can catch an angle on him. Gotcha. I'll go to the other end. If you're going to hang out this end, I'm going to go to the other side in case he tries to come around or come out the back. He, he won't be able to. This is a one-way in, one-way out building. He has to come out the front. So he has to come out that, that right side that you're yep, on? That, yep, he has to come out the side I'm on. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking the target. I'm not gonna lie. Up. So he is um he's up in that building somewhere. Like upstairs. Probably okay. there's a key room up there. It's called Heps. He's probably in that key room. Okay, can he shoot what sorry. Go ahead. He can shoot out those windows, yes. So I see you going flanking all the way around to the right. Yeah, I'm I'm just going as far up as I can so that so when he comes out of this door, I'm literally Oh, I see him, he's inside. I see him, he's right here. Shoot him. Yeah, he's behind the uh, dingo. I'm pushing him. Yeah. I got him distracted. Get him. 
Got him. Nice guy. Nice job, dude. That's some good teamwork. So this is this is with. the this is the butthole that was stealing our loot. Yes, it was. You can loot him. I'll cover. Loot him. Okay, give me a sec. What's an S march? Uh, an S march. Don't pick it up. It's basically like a hemo stat, but it's a one use and it takes like twenty years. Here, get right here and loot him. Behind this. Yep, right behind here and loot him. Because uh, if you're going to get shot from anywhere, it's going to be one of these hills or the hill behind us. And I'm going to cover the hill behind us. Gotcha. Where would you at? take this SV-98? I can take it, yeah. I mean, oh, I would. Oh, yeah, I would if you're asking, like, is it worth yeah. taking? Well, yeah, well, but do I take it over the ADAR or the uh, MDR? Mm, no. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to strip parts off of it. So you're going to take the suppressor, you're going to take the scope. So you can just double-click the gun. And then anything that you want, you can control click, and it'll take it off the gun and put it in your inventory. I'm gonna do what to the gun? Double click. You're it. gonna double click it, and then like the scope and the suppressor, you're going to control left click, and it'll take them and put them in your inventory somewhere. So this is what's called stripping guns. So like if you um, you know, obviously you can't carry you know ten guns. So like at some point you just have to start taking the good attachments off of them and then leaving the gun. Gotcha. How do I check the chamber? I don't know what default is. I never check the chamber. Okay. I would take his helmet and put it in your backpack, though. We're good. Got everything off him? Um, he must uh, use all peas. What's a hot rod? Um, uh, it's something you can drink. What's an alpha? Nine. Alpha nine? Um, I don't know. Oh, it's a suppressor. I'm just grabbing everything off them. We'll take it inside. I, I, I want to. I wanted to double check and make sure he didn't leave anything in here. Yeah. Because there's cool. some spawns that people don't know about. I think I'm heavy because I can't walk worth a shit. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, yeah, you're overweight. Yeah. So this has been hit, but there's attachment spawns like people don't know about. Okay. Come on upstairs. I'm only 44 kilos, so I'm fine. Okay. You're fine. Um, anything under 50, you're okay. So over 50, if you're not like, if you haven't leveled your endurance and strength a lot, anything over 50, you're going to, you cannot regen stamina while moving, which is the main thing. Sorry, guys. Again, if I'm missing anything in chat, I apologize. Lindsay, what's going on? All right, so come in here. I'm going to drop you everything you're going to want to take. Is there anything in these crates? you check everything yet? Yeah, I actually may be able to slap this on here. I can't. Okay, so take, take all that. Okay, I got... Oh, my gosh. I got so much stuff. Uh, what do I got to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of a... I'm going to drop... Put that there. I'm going to put that there. Oh, yeah. Um, Bachi brought up a good point. So you have to... If you want to reload, right? You have to have the magazine or the ammo that you're wanting to reload into either your rig or your pocket. To either my rig or my pocket. Okay. I'm, I'm rammed right now. That... I can drop that. Discard. There's a green bandage. Is that green and brown camo?
Yeah, it's saying I got no freaking space. Okay, so Risk, you dropped a mag as well. Um, whenever you you reload, right? If you're reloading that ADOR, you have to have a free two by one slot in your rig for the mag that you just took out of your gun to go into your rig. So where did I so drop that? Here's mag a mag at? that you dropped. Where? Oh, you're also gonna take that mag too. So like that mag right there, that yeah. one that I just dropped, that MPX mag. Yeah. That's an example of like a magazine that's gonna vendor for nothing. Mm -hmm. But like once you hit level ten, you could sell that on the flea market for so much money. Like it's it, that's probably worth like forty k. Okay, so I'm gonna hang on a sec. I'm gonna put a bunch of crap inside of this thing. Here. I would say that guy is probably the guy that was uh, looting all of our stuff. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a second here. I'm gonna need a second here. No, I'll take time to... You got some loot to sort. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Yep. Pretty sure you're filling up that ABS rig too. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yep. Why is it saying I got no freaking space? What is your problem? Okay, I think that's everything. As well. Alright, I think I got everything. I think. Alright, sweet. Just checking the floor. Oh. Doesn't look like I got Alright, so now you're gonna pack a mag. So take that ammo that I gave you. Yep. And um, drag it over top of a mag. Any mag. And you're gonna, and you're gonna start putting packing it into the mag. Yeah, I got. This it. is why you br bring spare ammo. In case you find Ugh. mags. You said what? In case you find mags. Uh no. Um, so that like like right now, I have three sixty rounders and I have two stacks of sixty. So like instead of having to bring in two more expensive sixty rounders, because these are like. 60k a piece these magazines so instead of having to bring in you know two more mags that are really expensive and then die with them um yeah, yeah. gotcha okay thought you said to uh, take the mpx mag out of your main rig i don't know what you're looking like so. i did okay cool yeah, and then you said to put the battle mag up all right uh battle mag gotcha so how much do you weigh right now Uh, 47. Yeah, I have to take a phone call really quick. Go. Go ahead. Oh, MLA, you're still here. What's going on? How you been, man? I haven't seen you around at all, MLA. You been good? Nappy, what are you up to today? We ever going to do one of these uh, runs? You can teach me because you got a few hours into this game too, don't you? Nappy? Yeah, no, Bachi, that's perfect, man. Actually, if if, because he understands what the hell you're talking about, and being able to explain it through words is probably a little better than trying to explain it in chat and me getting crossed up in some way. Because I'm, if I don't know, I'm gonna just ask him, or you to clarify it anyway. So, fourteen hundred hours. So you've you've played it once or twice then. <laughs> nice. I love right, Wendy's. Bye. Sorry about that. Yeah, man, no problem. I love Wendy's. Work. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just work stuff. Behind you. All right. Well, we will. Sorry, strike tunnel. Yeah. So we'll start making our way to tunnel. We'll probably hit village up, but um. Yeah, you have a decent amount of loot right now, so... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ram full, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna take my computer What's your go-to at uh, Wendy's, Emily? 
Get on plane. Go dust it out. We have a data vac up there. Oh my gosh. It's like the best thing ever. <laughs> you ever used a data vac? No, I never even heard of a data vac. I know, I know you're a tool guy. It's like literally just the best thing ever. It's, How um, so? so it's like, um, it looks like a, it's no bigger than like a cup, like, you know, like a 24 ounce cup. Yeah. And it has a nozzle that comes off of it and a little handle. Yeah. And you turn it on and it's like, the force of a thousand winds that just like <laughs> comes out of it. I mean, it is crazy how the much with the air force it comes of a out. thousand winds. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's got like a built-in like compressor inside of it, and like you you don't have to like sit there and like let it charge up or anything like that. You just plug it in, you put that switch, and it's just instantly just. Yeah, yeah. I may have. I may and have it's lost it's non-static as well. A little bit to my left here, Dingle, but I think I lost. Yeah, you. I'm right here. I got you. Yeah, it's non-static. It's just really good for like blowing out PCs. That's why we got it. You like blowing out PCs? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was working on PCs. We started doing so many of them up at work, like custom computers people order and like yeah, you were saying computers and stuff. Did you ever you, remember you said you were building one for work? Oh, yeah, yeah, that was built a long time ago. Yeah. I got it built. Oh, well, I mean, I build computers for like clients all the time, but I built my work computer quite a while ago. Yeah, yeah it's pretty nice. MLA, that, I mean, how dare you even go it's to Wendy's It's definitely something that's, you know, you like... it's fun to do. I thought we were friends. Yeah, it's something I've really enjoyed doing too because like i'll you know you gain a lot of experience from stuff like that and like troubleshooting and stuff like people bringing in their computers like hey it doesn't work yeah. like at all you're out running me be careful oh yep sorry see i'm like pretty much at full stamina right now yeah so there's a, a ooh, i assume there's a scab on the shoreline down there is that what you there just was. killed i was gonna say i heard yeah. you just shoot there <laughs> i was gonna take the shot I didn't even think about that. It's just habit for me to kill everything I see. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing with new players, like that's actually like one of the things I'm bad about is just killing everything. Yeah. Cause like that would have been a good chance for you to uh for you to like Stretch learn a bullet a drop. Bit. And like uh it's just it's just habit because like I walk by here and I make that shot every single time, whether yeah. I'm playing, you know, solo or with people. I really do enjoy playing with new players in this game though. Really, any game. Can you fall in the water here? Nope. You can't go in the water in this game. So flashlights, by the way, are really good. This is why. Because it blinds you? Yeah, it blinds people I, really I, hard. I appreciate And it that. helps you see people a little bit easier, especially around, like, foliage and in buildings and stuff. And it blinds scavs. This is looted. Um, check this stash right here. I don't know if they left anything in it. Yeah, check this backpack as well. Or if they even it. It's got an ADAR on him, this guy? Yeah. This is all in here. And, like, seeing in buildings that have, like... The way the lighting is in this game, honestly, it's oh, terrible. It's like but, like, yeah. you can't see inside of some windows and buildings and stuff. What stash? The one behind here again? Yes, sir. Like, like that, Bachi? I learned quick. Yep, I can see. It's good in this game. I'm trying to, Bachi's kind of giving me hints along with you here, so I'm trying to remember yeah, that when, whenever Bocci's I loot to, to make sure I lie down because I feel like uber vulnerable. You check this yeah, crate here. Yeah, out here you're pretty, you're pretty cool. Yeah, everything has been hit. Okay. So I just had to we're it. out of here. We're going to go oh, extract. Our extract's like right here, so might as well reset. No point in 
continuing to loot when you're like 90% full. Yeah, no worries. Just go ahead and secure what you have. Oh, I missed the little thing there. I went totally the wrong way. How the heck do I get out of here? I gotta climb up here. On to here. Yep. Up. Up. Jump. Why won't my guy jump? I'm oh, you can't. Are you I'm trying to get up? Where are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm looking for you. I'm right here. Hello. Come this way. Oh, there's a ring. I think I made the ring. You don't have to go that way. That's just me being an idiot. Roger that. That guy is gassed. I gotta be careful here, Bingo, because my guy is gassing quick. Mm hmm. Yeah, the more weight you have, the quicker your guy. Yeah, I won't even loses recoup his. any. I gotta pause here for a second because I can't recoup any energy. Ah, uh, you're not regening while moving. Mm. How much do you weigh exactly? Fifty point four. Okay. Um, what you'll be I... okay because we're like literally right here. But yeah. like, if you were on the other side of the map, I would drop some weight. Like, just drop, you know, point four kilograms. That yeah. way you can regen right, while go. moving. When you can't regen while moving, by the way, you can still like crawl and regen. Okay. So, like if you run out right here, you could just prone and crawl. Bachi's saying to lay down. Yeah. Yeah, if you lay down, you regen faster. So I'm just checking the hill up above us for extract campers. Yep. I don't see anybody. Strong arminate up there because I can. Probably not that far. <laughs> right All right, we can go over here. The next shot. Shot. Oh, I heard shot. shots. And I'm. Uh, ooh, that's probably miles. a fragment. Oh, okay. Expensive expenditure of ammunition at the end of that round there, Dingle. Uh, I was just the scab. Of eight <laughs> or. Um, yeah, good job with the uh, player kill. Did you end up getting his tag? Yeah. Yeah, I got both of the player tags. So does it show if I got any damage on that guy? Uh, No, but what you can do is... So, like, the screen after where it would show you your kills and it, like, shows a bunch of statistics and stuff. Yeah. You can, like, look at your... You definitely were hitting him because I heard him. He was screaming every time you hit him. Oh, but it'll tell you, like, how many body, rounds you says, shot. Yeah, yeah. It says damage dealt to body. Like, is that my body or somebody else's body? His. So, 109. Okay. So, you hit him up pretty decent. It'll tell you, like, how many ammo used and how many shots you hit underneath of it. Oh, hit count three. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah. If that was the only guy you shot at already, you hit him three times. Yeah, that was him. That was the only um, guy. And mostly, uh, honestly, my shots, because he was behind the uh, wire wheel the whole time, I was just trying to hold mm -hmm. him there while you got around him. Yeah. But when he went out in the open, I kind of took a couple of pot shots at him. Yeah, you were you were uh, effing them up. I heard them because you can usually hear because they'll be like, oh, 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 they're, they're making them. noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Next. So you were uh, you were hitting them up pretty hard. So I'm level three and a half now. Loot experience. Next. <sighs> nice. Good run. Thanks, Bachi. You're being a big help, buddy. Appreciate it. There was a streamer then that he's that was all he does is extract can't he's made a name for himself doing that. Yeah, that would kind of suck. Nappy was saying there's a guy that makes a, a basically a living just extract camping. He streams it. Yeah. Yeah, F that guy. Yeah, absolutely. That would that would suck. Yeah, not a fan of uh X Fuel Camper T T V over here. Yeah, because that would be like yeah, that's, that's rude. <laughs> he basically just ruins other people's uh, fun. Yes, and again, uh, I, I default to I'm a new guy. I'm just, I, I'm thinking, oh, I finally got it. I'm going to, you know. Yeah, extract campers, honestly, like, yeah. Not a fan here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think extract camping's pretty lame. 
you're just like sitting there like people like he literally like will sit there and watch youtube and like do just chatting and stuff and just wait for people to show up and then he shoots them oh wow it's like okay dude so yeah i'm good to go when you are pretty much i'm just just make sure my... you uh don't need to eat and drink um yeah i drank a little bit before we left okay i put an eye back Now, let's see, I should be able to fit this in here. Open. Oh my gosh, this rig. I'll just leave everything in this rig. This rig I pulled out with had freaking a ton of crap in it. Uh, you gonna make it there? You've had a couple really good extracts today. Yeah, this is a good start. Definitely. Appreciate it. Some people just die over and over and over and then reset their account. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i also found an apb looks like a little silenced pistol with a shoulder stock ah yeah you just fender that okay i'm gonna keep the fender that's mechanic there. that helmet that was on that guy you can vendor to ragman do we want to do that real quick before we do another run or oh uh, yeah you can go for it dude okay so who am I going to here? Does it matter who I go to? Uh, Ragman for clothes, uh, mechanic for guns. All right, hang on a second. We're going to go back. We're going to open up that rig. We're going to pull all this stuff out. Sorry, who do you want to go to? Ragman? Uh, Ragman for clothes and armor and um, uh, mechanic for guns. So I've got uh, the BNTI. It's 70000 bucks. 70000 to vendor that helmet? It's not a helmet. It's an armor. It's 44000 oh, Which one was it? Helmet. Um, BNTI. BNTI. Let me pull up your stream. Yep. I don't know what you're talking about. That helmet you can go ahead and get rid of. BNTI. What helmet? I mean, what what armor? How, can you over the top of it? Oh, no. That's a gazelle. Keep that. Keep that. Okay. Yeah, that's tier 5 armor. That's high corn trooper. High comm trooper. Yeah, you can keep that too. All right, now, who else? A uh, mechanic to sell the um the guns. I don't sell guns, Dingle. Uh, you had that pistol, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can sell that suppressor too. You can sell like attachments to mechanic too. So, yeah, I'll tell you everything you can sell. You can pretty much endure everything you got from that raid. Like, I would sell that suppressor. I would sell that Mosin barrel. Mosin barrel. Sell this. that SVD suppressor. Tactical handguard, X, aka 74U. Uh, yeah, you could vendor that. You said Mosin barrel? Uh, to the left. This here? There's a Mosin barrel, and then there is a suppressor underneath of it. Oh, right here. And you can sell that anti heat ribbon, too, above that suppressor you just clicked on. This uh, mm -hmm. scope, keep that. Uh, yeah, I would keep that. That's a really good sign. Handguard, hemlock foregrip. So yeah, there. everything else should be good. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's run. I'll fiddle with this All later. Right. We'll go get a scav in. My scav's up. There should be two. Yeah, minus two. My guy's wearing socks, sandals, and a cowboy hat, so he is ready to party. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think mine had much anything much better than than that. Five a.m. or five thirty. Five. We'll go. We'll go five a.m. <clears throat> there you are. I'm there already. Bite me. 
I usually, when it comes to like times like this, like this is kind of an awkward time. Like it's probably oh, gonna be a little dark okay. whenever we get in, but it's better if you know that you're gonna be in the raid. You know, an extended period of time, it's better to go early. Yeah. Now remind me. We go me. late there. We're the raid for you know. <laughs> Ten minutes. It's gonna be really dark. Yeah. Now remind me to uh, after the scav run to um, take all the gear out of my thing before I... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what yeah, I got. Yeah. My dude's got like a baseball cap on, a pair of sunglasses, and a mean mug. Um, it looks like a Saiga type AK shotgun almost. Yeah, it's a it's a Saiga. That's got a big badass compensator on the front of it. That's a shotgun. So here's a question for you, Dingle. I know you're probably okay, checking. Okay, here's an through. answer for your risk. Um, my Discord keeps coming up on my screen. Mm, oh, okay, like your notifications? Yeah. In the um, top left-hand corner. I stream? Oh, you don't have your Twitch account link. Okay, um, that's Is why that it's not enabling. On? Um... Yeah, go to your settings really quick. Under what now? Go to your settings. In Discord? Yes, sir. And then under my account, which should be the first one it pulls up, does it give you like an option to turn on streamer mode? So streamer mode, in, it says in st streamer mode enabled. It's enabled? It's on. Huh. You shouldn't be getting any notifications then. Hide personal information, disable sounds, disable notifications, hide invite links. Hide Try to disable notifications and see if that works. Hide personal information. Everything, everything is on. Okay, just um, maybe it just had to enable. So just give it a second and see if it works. But it was already on, so it was um, never off. Well, Anyways. Maybe maybe you just had to go there to make it recognize that it was enabled. Because if it's enabled, you shouldn't be getting any notifications at all. Okay. All right, let's go. Where are you at? Um, I'm by the gas station. Where are you at? I'm by the building. That, I assume, is the gas station. You're there's me a, only? There's a fire inside the gas station. I hear you. Ah, what two drug I got you. Get, get, easy. Chicky bricky, punch quicky. Chicky bricky, punch That's the one that uh that Ross's um like I don't know if you've ever seen Ross's scav command. No. Yeah, if you ever go into his chat, just type exclamation point scav. Yeah. And a scav will appear on the screen, and he goes chicky bricky, punch <laughs> I just oh, yeah, gotta I level up. Game. Some skill just leveled up for me here. Not sure what it is. There's a bunch Jack of Rigam, a bunch bop, of bop, buckets bop, bop. to search in here, isn't there? Yeah, there's one right yeah, here. Here's, uh, yeah, here's a in there. Yeah, this is what watching streams does for you. Yep. It actually this this game does help it quite a bit if you watch streams. Oh. I is some got, good? Yeah, some decent. A chain lid in here, some uh, bullets, and there's a um, piece of armor in here. What kind of armor? Uh, the equipped kind, 3M. Okay, where else am I going here? Where are you at? Take a guess. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go over here. I'll show you the uh, the office area. I'm gonna blast somebody with a shotgun. Problem is, it's probably buckshot. It's not even slug, probably. So now I hear guys say all the time, oh man, I, 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 I spawned in late. How the heck do you know within seconds of spawning in that you spawned in late? Well, on a 
PMC run, you should get a countdown timer. Like, you know how it like says like deploying and you know, five, yeah, yeah, four, three, yeah, two, yeah, one. Yeah. You'll get that. And if you get that, you never spawn in like, like you're always spawned in on time. But if you don't get that and you just, just randomly, it's like loading loot, waiting, you know, whatever. And it spawns you in. Here's a safe up here, by the way. What's the safe going to do right with there. no keys or locks? Uh, it's unlocked. This one is. Oh. Um, so if you don't get that, you know that you're spawned in late and you can always double tap O. And wow, we spawned in early on this scav. Yeah, there was rubles. What the and heck? Of good stuff I think there's only 45 minutes in a shoreline raid. Bocce, can you confirm? Is there 45 minutes in a shoreline raid? There's another safe in here. Yeah, we're at 42 minutes. So. Where is it? Yeah, safe? I think that there's only 45. So we may actually have spawned in at the start of the raid. Sometimes, if you're really lucky as a scab, you spawn in at like the start. Yeah, it's either 45 minutes or 50 at the absolute longest. Oh, I got a cat figure. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. I can't carry it, though. So. Oh, I have a backpack here. I do not. You got it? Mm, I dropped it. It's right here. Oh, good job. Oh, you're giving me the backpack. I got you. Yes. It won't let me. Oh, because I have this on. Derp, derp. Okay, we're good. Sorry. So you gotta get the cat now. Oh. Thought you grab the kitty cat. Kitty cat. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Is that what the kitty cat does? <laughs> He's learning. There's another stash down here we can loot. Go beans. Honestly, probably not the best idea, but we're stashy cares. Yeah. Take you the full extent. So this is lighthouse. I know it's a really impressive lighthouse. I'm just um, impressed by that moon. Yeah, the game looks beautiful. I like, look at the you know the sun setting or rising on the horizon like yeah. how it bounces off of the water and stuff like it's beautiful. That's great. And then sometimes, so the Alba always said the lighting in this game is stunning, but it's stunning in one of two ways. It's either stunningly beautiful or it's just stunningly bad. Like, so yeah, this is the lighthouse extract if you ever need to take lighthouse. Looks like uh, grenades. All right, well, we looted. Uh, you can loot that box right there and everything else we have got. Okay. Let's go. Empty. But she says the uh, mortar grenade launcher rounds I just found is money. Yeah, probably. Grenade launchers are like the dumbest thing in this game. They're so broken. You, boss. We'll go. We'll go with this scab over here. <laughs> so this scab right here, this is like you'll find scabs that just spawn dead, and you can search them. But it's not like a normal scab. It like searches it like a container. Ram. So this is how I knew that that one guy was uh, down here earlier. I'll show you whenever you're done looting yep, that. Done. Go. So this right here, it spawns closed every time. Every single raid, the trunk of this car spawns closed. And it was open last time. It was like that. Gotcha. So that's how I knew that that guy was down here. Gotcha. So this is always the best way to take off of that, by the way. Get down here. Mm -hmm. Just kind of gives you some more cover. I like cover. Yeah, cover's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm still, like, in a fog. In a fog. I, I, I mean, just like there's so much to on. do and oh yeah, in, take in, like... It'll be like this for, like, your first few hundred hours. 
it doesn't get the much better. Thing is just to find a, a regular Dingleberry McGee to come. In. Yeah, I mean, any time that you can play with somebody who's better than you at this game, like even if they're not much better than you, like it's it's still a good idea. Yeah. Which is everybody at this point. You're constantly learning in this game. Like, I have stuff that like happens like every week or every other week where I'm like, wow, I didn't know that. Like, wow, that can happen. Wow, that's there. Like, you know, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. that. That's that's what what I like about this game. It keeps it nice and fresh. So what's our now, what do you have your what sense at? Like, do you have? Oh. Like, I like my sensitivity like really high, and I don't know why. Yeah, see, I, I play low sensitivity. Like, one swipe across my giant mouse pad does like a 180, basically. Yeah. Like I'm, I barely am moving an inch. Is that inch. you sprinting? I am sprinting, yeah. Okay. I'm barely moving an inch, and I can do 180 degrees left to right. Yeah. So yeah, I would probably turn that down. Well, it's it's not literally that bad, but it's pretty close. And um, in sides, other so. games, my sensitivity is slightly higher than it is in Tarkov. Yeah. Just because in Tarkov, you don't have to be like, oh, flick left, flick right, oh, you know, behind me, oh, yeah, back yeah, to the ground, yeah, behind like me, the other way, like. On heads. Yeah, in this game, like, generally, you know where people are. Like, I'm going to hear somebody, and I'm going to put them, like, in the center of my screen. Yeah. We can go loot Scav Island. We haven't killed any scabs yet, so scabs are friendly to us right now. Okay. My recommendation, though, So we're on deserted every scab. beach right now, right? I'm just looking at my map, and I'm trying to figure out where the heck deserted I am. Deserted beach. Um, I don't know that call out. This is, this is Scab Island. We're, like, on the beach next to Scab Island. I got you. They're on the map, yeah. on this map, they're calling it. Um, deserted beach. Yeah, I would, I would never make that call out myself. There's scabs over there. So yeah, I would just say on the beach across from Scab Island. Yeah, yeah. Ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum. You killing this guy? <laughs> um, yeah, I, th I think I think your best option is just off him. Like that? Yep. <laughs> Rest in peace, Vishlama Gubalaga. He was a good man. <laughs> oh, he's got a big backpack. Yeah, take it. I'm gonna... Steal nothing, he let me have it. What's uh, this cricket? Cricket? It's a lighter, don't take it. Trash. Anything inside? Um, no. I didn't loot in here. Uh, so something funny uh, that happened the other day, Risk, yeah. right here. I was trying to like get my friend to stand here, and I was trying to boost on top of it and get up in there. Oh. And then the game just read me off an error code and kicked me from the game. <laughs> now, is that you think that's designed because they knew what the hell was happening? Um, no, because there's a lot of like cheeky boost spots that you can get into. By the way, in here, there's two doubles. I already looted those though. Okay. Um, there wasn't anything. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, this this is them pick dry. We're good to go. Um, I think it was just something in the game's like coding that just like messed up. Didn't I don't like think it. it's like intended to go there. Yeah, yeah. But you can like, there's a lot of like cheeky boost spots that you can get into. I just thought it was funny. So I've never had that happen. Now 
Now, what do you have for extracts? Mm, let's look. I have... Zettily okay. Dead End and South Fence Passage. I got Dead End and Ruined House. Or Ruined... So Dead End's actually like right in front of us. That's pretty much. Okay, let's go. I'm going to check this crate. Hold on. Yep. Go right ahead. Bachi. Um, whisper it me to me, Bachi, please. Our risk, uh, so we're gonna move on into I'm behind you. Yeah, I got you. Um, we are going to move into village. We'll loot this a little bit and then our extract is actually right here at village. Um, we'll check the tech spawn right here and see if maybe there's a graphics card or something like that. Now, isn't there, like, usually something on the buses on a seat or something like that? Somebody said one time. Um, there's a key spawn, but it, on this bus, it's a really cheap key. On some buses, there's no spawns. On okay. some buses, there's food spawns. It's a bus by bus basis. Bus by bus basis. <laughs> this is going to take long. Nada. Nada. There's something at your feet that's pretty good. What's this? It looks like a circuit board. Where did it go? There it is. Circuit board is exactly what it is. <laughs> is it good? Uh, what What'd you say? I said it's a, a circuit board. I said, is that good? It's all right. Realized. I don't think I took that scab's gun. Uh, I don't that'll be all right. I don't need to think about yeah. it. I know for a we'll, fact. Uh, we'll check some of these houses down here. Oh, there's a couple stashes here too. Same Thanks stashes back. we've been looting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, hey. you can like start looting this and then go prone. Yeah, I'm gonna try that right now. And it didn't. Yeah, you have to like do it and then like turn sideways and then prone really quick. What's it's, a book? It's kind of a what? A book? book oh, i'll take it it's pretty good it uh it just vendors it vendors for like 40k no space for the split sorry split. where what stash do you loot now the one behind this bin here Sorry, Josh, dude, I was he's evolving he's learning i was scratching my head i couldn't <laughs> couldn't move <laughs> um knowledge there's a helmet in here. Oh, what kind? It's a uh, kind I can't put on my head. Oh, because I have a baseball hat on. Uh, TC2001. Oh, it's pretty good. Is that nice? And then there was some ammo. I just took it. I kind of don't like the feature of how when if you're running and you stop, it paralyzes here. you for a second. There's a, uh, there's a coat behind this door. Cigarettes and cigarettes. Two types of cigarettes. A red and a blue pack. A key and a lighter. What kind of key? Like or does it just say key? 206. Uh, take it. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it weighs nothing, so as long as you have a free spot. What are sprats? Uh, it's food. I'm gonna eat it. 
eat it. Hang you can on. eat those. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let me watch you eat it. Nom 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 mm. nom 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 nom. You're a creep, by the way. Mm. You know, call it what you want it. <laughs> but I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come with these coats. Where you at? Oh, there. I got no space left, by the way. We're, we are bat balls full. Okay. That's probably Q to head on to extract. All right, let's go. You look real cute running around with a little pistol, by the way. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Just give me a big old thumbs up there, Dingle Baron McGee. All right. Got all the. By the way, you can free look around and like your head moves. So like, you can do this, or you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> How do you free look again? I forget. Uh, I think it's middle mouse is default. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, the extra right here. Mhm. Mm ah! Dude, I will shotgun you. <laughs> Touching the leg. <laughs> Shoot you right in the nuggets. All right, so that's probably don't have enough time for another. Um, uh no, it's all good. Be sure to get your stuff off of your scab before you. Yeah. So how, I hit next. Cancel it. Right. Yeah, and it'll give you a little warning before you go past. It'll be like, "Are you sure you want to end the transfer? This can't be undone." Something like that. Okay, so now I got to move stuff around here because my rig, my f everything is freaking full as full can be here. <sighs> All right, there you go. Nice Grab your pants, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I can put that in there. Can I put that in there? No, that won't fit in there. That won't fit in there. Uh, that'll fit in there. No question mark. Yes, that'll fit in there. Will that fit in there? No. Hmm. Dango, we have an uh, emergency here. I am literally out of space, and I have put stuff into rigs and backpacks. Okay, there's... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bachi is coming to the rescue. Uh, what'd you say, Risk? I'm just... Trying to make space because I am out of the spaces at the moment. <laughs> Understandable. Bachi's over here bossing me around like he's. Okay, we got that in there. Oh, look, I got tons of space. What the hell? I was complaining a second ago. Now I'm laughing. All right. What else is double space that I can get rid of? That can go in there. That can go in there. Now I can see the rabbit hole of frickin' inventory that is Tarkov. This is yeah. nuts. So, that Tarkov wiki that you were talking about having pulled up, uh -huh. um, one of the good... It, it's not going to tell you, you know, the value of, like, stuff on the flea market no. and stuff, but... Um, the one good thing it's going to be for is, like, if you want to know if you need an item, like, you have to have, like, certain items found in raid, right, for a quest. Yeah. Um, so what you could do is you could always type in the name of the item in the Tarkov wiki, and it will tell you if, if it needs um, if it needs to be found in raid for any kind of quest or if you need it for your hideout or stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. No, 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 no,
This thing, this guy. He's crazy. Okay, so that's that. Let's see if I can fix it right now. Oh, and I can. I'll put that there. We got all the things off? We do. Let's go. Let's go. I need to sell stuff, apparently. You're going to need to, yeah. So let's do that. Let's do that. Go through my um, mirror yeah. here. <laughs> and Nappy's like, the Tetris begins. <laughs> I've got backpacks. Everything's full of crap now. So let's go spend the last 10 minutes here just selling all my crap, and then uh, i got to wind things down and get ready for uh, the gym and go punish myself. Oh, man. I'm doing this. It's, it's, it's called a German. Oh, it's got a specific name. Anyways, it's 10 sets with 10 reps. And there's only a 90-second um, pause between each set. And it is absolutely going to destroy my body. And my buddy, all I said to my buddy was, get ready. I've, I have a, something special for you tomorrow and for the next six weeks. So, thanks, Bocce. Appreciate it. I was kind of hoping for some more uh, PvP-type stuff. But, yeah, we're getting there. Bit by bit, I'll try and do a couple of uh, a couple of runs before. Hey, Millsy, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, things are going well. Tarkov lessons are going well. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna lie though, Millsy, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm absolutely overwhelmed. All right, so am I just going straight to trading? Or are we gonna how are we gonna do this here, Dingle? Dingo. Yeah. <laughs> Am I just going to go straight to trading or um, how you want to do Oh, this? yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, go to... We'll go to mechanic first. Go to mechanic first. Okay. So let me open up all these rigs. Um, What I would do is take the mag out of that DTMDR. The who, the what now? The bag, the mag. How do I take that? I would take that, that out of the, uh, double click it, and drag the mag off. Okay, mag is off. Um, and sell that DTM DR. What? We're selling guns? Yeah, 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 yeah. That DTM DR because <laughs> that DTM DR is. Am I stripping one, all the very... other stuff off at first? No, no, just sell it as is. One, it's just really expensive to get ammo, decent ammo for. Um, and two, you could just buy like other guns with that money. Okay. I'm gonna cry. Um, so you sell that, sell that silence. Dingle, you, you need to understand selling guns for me is difficult, okay? It's it's okay, it's okay. It's, I may need a hug. That D -team DR, it's not, not very lie. good. Sell that TT pistol above it. TT pistol above it? Uh yeah, uh TT. This here. Oh. Yep. Sell the thing above that. <laughs> sell the mag next to the thing above it. The mag next to the, this mag here. Ten, uh, uh, sell. Ten. Yeah, you could sell that, I guess. Um, Which mag? Sell the. About? Uh, the thing above the TT. Sell that handguard, and then sell the mag next to it. Oh, this mag here, the SKS mag. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I don't want that for future SKSs. Every SKS you buy will have one. Excellent. Okay, next. Um, ooh, you already have a gas analyzer. That's good. You're yeah, going to have to turn those in found in raid. I picked that up um, um, uh, this this raid, I believe. That's that's actually really good. Gas analyzers, you need those found in raid, and they're <laughs> a pain in the butt to get over. Batchy's okay, so laughing at me. You're going to go ahead and me. sell that? Batchy's laughing at me because I'm selling guns, and I'm crying over here as you're saying to sell guns. Those are trash guns. <laughs> That TT, like, I would rather, like, try to, oh, man. Um, you know, say mean things to them and make them, like, fall over dead than try to use that thing. Sure. Like, it's actually just terrible. It's, like, not even usable. Mm -hmm. I would sell the mag, too. That It's... The I ammo that here. that gun uses is so incredibly bad. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, yeah, I would sell that. <sighs> um. That ammo next to those pliers... At like the top left that you see. Next to the pliers. 
those two stacks of ammo, I would sell both of those. These here? Yep, sell both of those. Okay. Okay. Um, so you want me to open these rigs up and see what's inside? Or do you want to go through what just what you can see here first? Uh, just what we can see. Um, okay, so top right of your screen right now, you'll see that um, flashlight on that mount. It's like middle right, actually. Yep, sell that. Um, yeah, and that should be okay to sell now. Mailsy, how are you finding your first three weeks in? Oh, and the shotgun ammo that's just in your inventory, just sitting there. Sell that too. Um, all right, all this. All right, is fine. you could sell that Sega if you wanted to, but it's not terrible. But it doesn't have any kind of range, so it's like close range only, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, so let's open um, up some, some rigs here. Okay. Um, you can sell both of those helmets to uh to Ragman, but I would repair it before I would sell it. Okay, how do I repair shit? Um, you'll just right click on it and hit repair. Oh, okay. And then so, it's gonna cost you money, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. Right, repair. Just click repair; it'll do it automatically. Yeah, that one's fine. It's full. Um, you have to repair the blue one. Okay. Repair. Just hit repair. Yep. And then you'll take those out, and then you'll sell those to Ragman. So, so you'll have to take them out of the rig in order to sell it to Ragman. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you'll sell that white armor vest that you got last trade. Actually, is there so right else? now, what you're right now, what you're really gonna try to get is what's called a lucky scav junk box. You could just leave the rest of that in there. He doesn't want these. Uh, click the refresh thing next to Ragman's name. He no want. He wants my. Okay, armor. back out and then go back into it. He still don't want. He won't buy those helmets? No want the helmet. He says he can't buy them. What? Something's bugged. You're bugged. The dragon one should buy those helmets. Um, I would sell the armor. Which one? Uh, The white yeah. armor. Yeah, you just sell that. The Ragman. Damn. Yeah, you may have to back all the way out, like Falchi said. Okay. To be able to sell those helmets. Yeah. Like, hit escape and go back to the very main menu. I'm going to be honest with you. Helmets are, like, pretty useless in this game. So I usually, especially early wipe, I vendor, like, all of them. Yeah, there you go. Because the way I look at it is, like, yeah, the helmet has, like, a very, very small chance of saving you. But, like, it's probably not going to. So you could just sell it and take that money. Job, and then in the you. event that the helmet hey, would have saved you, back. you've paid for your kit that you lost, like, over and over again. Yeah, somebody else was talking about that too. I think it was it was Air Max was talking about that. Yeah, helmets are pretty useless. The only reason you you'll see me wearing helmets with face shields. The only reason I wear them is because one, I have so much money that it like doesn't even matter. Yeah. And two, they make the stream look a little bit better because it kind of kills some of the sharpness of the game. So it's a little easier to encode. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But next. they're pretty trash. Who's, um who do you want to try next here? Go to therapist. Therapist. Mm. You saw a chainlet. It's on the left hand side, yeah. and the bandage is on the right side. It's like yes. right across from it. Bandages. These ones here. This thing. This tourniquet. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. You can sell that. Um. Keep scrolling. Ibuprofen. Yeah. No, let's keep that. Um. Yeah, it looks like you're keeping pretty much everything else in your inventory. You could sell that Saiga if you needed space at some point, but you can't take stuff directly out of a container. You would have to refresh, go back to the menu like you did. Okay. I just want to pull everything out of these things so that I know yeah. what I've got. And then I'll resort from there. Now that I have a bit of space to 
fiddle with stuff. Next time we play, I'll help you knock out some quests so that you can get your level 10 and start buying a few cases. Yes, please. Because you have almost a mill right now. Like, that's nothing to scoff at for you to have only been playing, like, you know, what? A minute. Three hours, four hours. Oh, here's all the stuff I was looking for. I knew it was in here somewhere. Great. Where am I putting this stupid cat? Uh, I'll leave the bag in there. All right. So let me back out again. Trading therapist. All right. So <clears throat> I pulled out a bunch of crap. You can vendor that cat. You can vendor the fuel conditioner. Okay. To whom? To her? Uh, therapist. Yep. Control and the yeah, keys, keep... you could sell the keys, like any keys that you see. I think you only have one. Yeah, I think it was just the one. Yeah. That's okay. It. All right, cool beans. Come on, we got to get to a million. Who do I sell this uh, RAM to? Uh, you're going to hang on to that and you're going to sell it on the flea. Because like, that sells for like 40 k oh, a piece on the flea. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you. Go to fence. Actually, no, what you're going to do is you're going to sell this to Peacekeeper. Go to Peacekeeper, because you have to have money spent with Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper. Okay. So you're going to sell the USB flash drive, and you're going to sell the... How much is it? Uh, yeah, sell the SSD and the flash drive. You see up at the top right where it says like spent and it has like money. Yeah. So before you can get to Peacekeeper level two, it tells you what you need. You have to be a level 10. Mm -hmm. You don't actually need any trader rep, which is that thing in the middle that says zeros because you have to complete quest by completing quest gives you trader rep. Yeah. So, um, and then you have to spend or purchase 11 K worth of stuff from uh, Peacekeeper. And you have to do this for all the traders. You can sell that as MVG, that MVG mount to Ragman. It's on the right-hand side this of your here. screen. And that's what I want, because that'll give me the one mil. So what I would do is I would... So that AVS, and you see that rig that vendor struck 30K? There, yeah. Yep. Yeah, Um. so I would hang on to both of those, the that rig and the one above it, because it's going to give you a lot more storage than it's taking up. So especially until you hit level 10, you're you're not going to be able... I wouldn't repair that. You're not going to be able to um, to buy containers. So those rigs can kind of act as containers. Okay. So stuff that you know you're not going to sell right now or you're going to hang on to, you could just toss in those rigs to use as storage. Can um, I stack my rubles and stuff? You can. They only stack to stacks of 500k though, but you have like a couple stacks that aren't 500k, so you could pop those on top of each other. Gotcha. I got dollars and I have rubles. Mm -hmm. So right. yeah, it's uh, that looks to be just about everything. So right now you're gonna try to get a lucky scab junk box. So like you see of how uh, next to your stash it has all the things that you could like sort by. No. Click the one that has like the <laughs> arrows in the circle. The barter? Yeah, so that's called barter items. So basically, a Lucky Scab junk box will hold any barter item. So anything that you see right now... Yeah, I can just throw in that um, box. Yeah, you could put in a Lucky Scab junk box, which is going to cost you... It's going to cost you about 700k. Okay. Um, but it's going to give you... I think it takes up like 10 slots or 9 slots, and it gives you 100 slots. Oh, wow. So that's going to be like one of your first main things. Usually at the beginning of wipe, the first thing I do is grind out two lucky scab junk boxes. That's kind of my first priority. Okay. Um, just because like the battery, right? You're going to need that found in raid for a quest, but you don't want it to sit there and take up inventory space like this whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, you're looking pretty good right now. Um, so when I log into my PC at home, 
Mm -hmm. Is this going to look exactly the same? Yeah, it will. You will have to, um, you will have to reset your key bindings though. It changes from PC to PC. So any key bindings you're going to have to redo and your sensitivity and everything you'll have to redo, but everything will be just the way it was in your stash and your progression will be the same and everything. All right. Awesome. Dangle, you're a beast. Love you, dude. Thanks I for the game today. It. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, let's see if we can do this again um, soon. I, like I said, I, I'm going to try and make a regular uh, game day where I, yeah. I play this type of thing and um, see what we can do. Um, I just I got to get together with everybody and kind of figure out schedules and stuff like that and kind of rotate through folks. And Well, um, I'm Monday through uh, Wednesday. I'm uh, off, so awesome. whenever. Just appreciate uh, you, know. brother. Thanks for the games, bro. Have a good yeah. one. Take it easy. Oh, my gosh. What a day. <laughs> that's overwhelming. I'm not I'm not going to lie. That's over, that's overwhelming. That took uh, that took a lot out of me um, to to figure all that out and to kind of try and stay in it, you know, it like actually be like in present is the best way I can say it in the middle of the raid. Um, it is definitely that's a great way of putting it. It's a big brain game for sure. Great concept. I love it though. I mean, that's it's it has nothing, no feels at all like PUBG to me. Um, even though there's the whole scavenger thing, like it just feels nothing like any of those other games that I've ever played. Um, so I'm curious to see kind of how it, how it rolls out. If I can get in and just stick with one map and realize kind of the flow, like I really just want to start running around the map. Um, yeah. And, and maybe Bachi, that's exactly what I do as I go home tonight and you know, if, whenever the wife says I've got some free time to get down to my man cave, just go down and, and grind out some offline stuff and just run around. Don't even um, <coughs> don't even worry about loot and crap like that. Just kind of see what buildings are what and um, and do that kind of stuff. Especially like you said, the X fills are probably the biggest thing. It's just knowing where the hell to go when it says, "Hey, your 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 X fill is here." I think that's going to be the toughest part for me. And um, yeah, so uh, Bachi and I'm Dingle. Thank you very much, man. Uh, and Bachi, same to you. Thank you very much for for kind of piggybacking along there today. Um, having the 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 both of you alongside is is good. And and so that's a question. You bring up a good uh, a comment there, um, uh, Bachi. Is the whole gun thing? And thank you, Diablo. Actually, I do need a drink. You bring up a great comment about the um, about the guns. I know my guns literally IRL. My farms back to front. I mean, I know everything, but I will say it's going to be slightly different in game. And you know, the economics of the game is really what I'm referring to. Knowing kind of, yeah, knowing what's going to be more beneficial to have. Like I'm going to think of it from a strategic standpoint. I want this rifle because I want to be able to shoot in a certain way, as opposed to getting this particular gun because I think I can sell it for X, Y, Z or, or whatever the case is. You, you follow what I'm saying to you? There's, there's going to be a difference there um, when it comes to um, what you can and can't do. So you're saying ammo is the most important thing. But I will say this. I mean, fuel for me, gun-wise, is going to be a big part of that, you know? So <sighs> a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I'm really thankful, Diablo or Diablo Dingle. You took the time to uh, to teach me meta gun trash ammo. Um, what I'd love to do, um, if I can figure this out here, um, is to get you guys over to Bluebeard. Um, I'd love to raid to raid him today if if I can figure it out. Um, I haven't used the raid on this new. Uh, system in a while. Let me see if I can figure it out on here. Yeah, there it is.
Yeah, I'd love to go bla- go raid Bluebeard. Uh, if you guys could um, spend two seconds in Bluebeard stream. If you're not a follower of Bluebeard already, he's a great uh, EFT guy. He really, you know, I think he's a guy that I'm going to do some raids with him as well. I think he'd be just as fun to, uh, to play with as Dingle and in, in the rest of you guys. But, yeah, if you could hang out with him for a few minutes, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, guys, Drop a, if you got the emotes, drop a ton of them in Bluebeard's. Uh, stream for me. Let him know that I that I love him as much as I love you guys, and uh, I can't wait to see Andy. If you're streaming tonight, I'll be in, buddy. I'll come see in a little bit. And uh, Nappy, if you're playing that uh, spooky game later on, I'll come check you out tonight as well. Thank you all very much for hanging out, for watching this horrific stream of me dingling about. As you uh, speaking of Dingleberry um, in in Tarkov, I'm gonna do my best to get better at this. And in Bachi, I'm gonna take your advice. I'm gonna go uh, play some offline. And uh, learn Shoreline particularly um, as much as I can. Thank you all. Let um, let Bluebeard know that I say hi, please. He'll really appreciate the uh, the love and uh, so alive for doing so. Thank you to Nappy and everybody for um, for supporting me uh, today. Thank you very much for the, for all that you guys say and do. And Scarlet, even though you took off on me, you're awesome. Bless you guys. Peace out. We'll see you in a couple days. I'm going to stream later this week as well. Bye.